Many, many things where I don't see. Many, many things for my country they go. Many, many things in the pain my soul. Many, many people they suffer. They do everything in life, not competition. Now the priest they meet us for confession. Only goes and no book for protection. And I just go back to the progression. Many, 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 many people plan not to jack out. But get one thing no one has to know. We go conflict with our nature. Many, many things where I don't see you. Many, many things for my country they go. Many, many. Hmm? Hmm. What do you mean?
<laughs> oh, I just gotta get mad. One word, Dieselgate. I'm still over the fact that they got caught installing emission.
where I grew up, so at the area. So just in case there are any areas in the house, like, hello. Um, I I grew up in Wari, like I said. I went to Nana Primary School in Wari. I went to King's College, Lagos, for my secondary education. Then I went to the University of Benin, Great Unipen. I graduated from the University of Benin uh, in uh, 1992. Um, uh, uh, just just in case my matric number was LAW 8802343, in case we need to verify. And uh, I went to the law school. At that time, we only had one law school campus in Lagos. And I was called to the Nigerian bar on the 15th of December, 1993. So last year was my 30th year as a lawyer. And then uh, I served in Kano. Then I started to work with uh, a senior advocate of Nigeria in Wari, uh, Dr. Mudiaga Oji of Blessed Memory. Left him after three years to join my cousin and uh, in the setting up of our law firm called Templars. So for the last 27 years of my professional life, I have been uh, running uh, the law firm with my brother, my cousin, Templars. And uh, that's been one of the most fulfilling things I have done in my life. Uh, today we are, well, we're, I'm no longer there, but it's a law firm with 104 lawyers, I think, as at the last count. Uh, we have, uh, we practice in Lagos, Abuja, Pohar Court in Ghana. Uh, very, very, I'm very proud of what we do there. And uh, in uh, my, my legal career, I, I, I eventually, I also took active part in the uh, Nigerian Bar Association. And uh, in 2020, I was elected as the 30th president of the Nigerian Bar Association. Um, I was, I am not a senior advocate of Nigeria. I am not a litigator. So my election as, a, as president was uh, quite uh, phenomenal because in over 40 years, no senior advocate had become president of the bar. Uh, well, because... Uh, uh, because that's my, that's me, that's who I am. I, I go where others fear to... Uh, thread uh, because they say 2024 we will not go agree for anybody but uh, I, I not agree before not be today I start not to agree so I not agree so I became president of the bar and then uh, 2022 I, I handed over and then I decided to go into mainstream politics because of my total dissatisfaction with the state of affairs in our country because of my total dissatisfaction with uh, how governance and politics is run in Nigeria because I feel that the people have been shortchanged and the people are not in the equation. Uh, and uh, and, uh, and uh, I found um, resonance with the Labour Party and its objectives. I joined the Labour Party and I decided to th throw my hat in the ring uh, to, um, to run for governor of Edo State in the upcoming elections, which will take place on the 21st of September this year. Um, we, just had a, we just finished the primaries process uh, we had our primaries on the 23rd of February, and uh, uh, thanks be to God, I emerged as the candidate of the party. In, fa in fact, I, I, in fact, as I did so, I body broke. I am so tired. It was a dwelling seven months. But thank God for success. Thank God for victory. And so uh, I was just, I was, I've been taking a, a break. I think a, a well-deserved break. But I was, uh, I couldn't, uh, there was no way I could resist the urge to come here. And I'm grateful for the invitation because, uh, you know, as I say, as it's hot, we really could not leave this conversation uh, like this without intervening. And I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity. So I hope uh, I've been able to give uh, an assessment of myself. I am married. I am a Christian. I've been a member of the Redeemed Christian Church for over 22 years. Um, and uh, and um, I like to travel a lot. And as many of you who I might have noticed, I like to dance a lot. Uh, so, uh, so I'm a, I'm a fun-loving person. I don't think we should take ourselves too seriously. Uh, I can't come and keep myself and then dance on top. That is my uh, my one of my my mantras. So, Saddam, I don't know if uh, that is enough. Uh, uh, that is enough of a description. But in I essence, think... that is one. I think that is enough. That you have, you have, I think you have done justice to who you are. Um, and anybody that does that listen to you, we know who you really are. Thank you so much. Um, all right, I'm just, I'm just gonna open up the floor right now for 
my co-host or my panelists to ask you questions so that we can release because uh, we want you, sir, if you can keep your questions, your answers as short as possible so that we can have as many questions as possible in front of you today. Um, um, to have uh, to close the space with me, I have my normal violent space co uh, co host, people that I run the space with. I have M6 and well known Nigeria, but they will be taking a back seat because we have people that are, are the Edolite people that are co hosting the space today, so they are going to be just uh, running the space with me, Steve and Pels. Guys, I've been speaking, so I'm going to start the space with the lady, um, Miss Pels. Let me bring you, let me put you on the hot spot right now. I think I would love to hear you ask your question to Mr. Um, Ulumide in the next. One minute. Thank you, please. Okay. Thank you very much, Sardam, and welcome, Your Excellency, to this space. I welcome everyone here to this amazing space. It promises to be very interesting, intellectual, and very interactive. So my first question for you, sir, is um, over the past few days, um, the social media spaces have been heated about the Edo elections, what do you have to say to onlookers and potential investors about what you will do to cajole them to come invest in Edo State? That's the first question. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bells. Thank you very much uh, for that question. Yes, I did notice that the space, uh, social media space was uh, was actually uh, was quite hot in the last couple of days, but I think for good reason. Edo, Edo is the heartbeat of Nigeria, and uh, we attract quite a bit of attention for good reason. And I'm proud to be an Edo light. And let me take the opportunity to greet the Edo lights in the house. Um, um, I'm proud to be here on our well done. Um, what will I do to attract investors? Uh, first and foremost, um, uh, investors or investments or foreign investment or local investment is finite. You know, it's not, there's not an open-ended uh, source of investment. So investment will go to areas that are easy, that uh, where they can, where it can flourish. Uh, I've been a, I've been a corporate lawyer for 30 years. I know that for almost 30 years, and I know that you make investment or investors feel comfortable that they are, they will get a return on their investments, that their investments will be protected. So the first thing is. Uh, security critical that we must ensure that uh, this space is safe, that uh, investments can be made in the Edo state, and you can be sure that this is protected, and uh, and uh, and that um, you have uh, uh, you have you have the latitude to do what you want with your investment in the state, and be sure of your returns when you want your returns, and uh, and uh, that is the first thing you need to do. Apart from the fact that on top of that, you need to also provide a, 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 a level playing field or a, what they call a, a, an enabling environment that allows the investment to flourish and thrive. So when we talk about security, I'm gladdened that I hear that the bill for state policing is now at the second reading at the House of uh, Representatives, at the National Assembly. And for me, that is a step in the right direction because I believe that uh, uh, state governments should have control over the security architecture in their states. So because it is through that that we can give confidence to the investors who are coming. Edo sits right at the heart. That's why we're the heartbeat. You, we're right at the center or the crossroads. Uh, and uh, pretty much everybody traveling up north uh, will come through, or, or even to the east will come through the uh, Edo state. So it is... It natural, it's a natural magnet. So the, what we need to do is to ensure that we have uh, uh, opportunities for investment laid out, and then we have security in place to protect this investment. And uh, and um, then then it will be the investors who will begin to preach the gospel. Now then, go to tell the story. Say, come to Edo. You have you are guaranteed your ROI, and then also your investment is safe. So, uh, Miss Bells, I will I will take pragmatic steps. To protect, to make sure the investments are protected, create an enabling environment, uh, open up the spaces. You know, uh, uh, we are an agrarian state, so we would, we would, we would try, we would try, we will ensure that we create the opportunities for investment in agriculture across the value chain. Uh, we we are known for our culture, 
and, uh, and so we will enhance investment tourism uh, uh, or investment in tourism in Edo State. Uh, we have the potential to be a, a, a medical mecca in Nigeria, and so we will invest in health, or at least we will open the space in health for investment. So, um, but I think all of this, as I said, is underpinned by uh, by the need to ensure that such investments will be secure. I hope I hope this answers your question. Absolutely. Thank you very much, sir. Over to you, sir. Da. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Pels. Okay, let me run real quick now to uh, my second co-host for the night, um, Mr. Steve. Um, Steve, you can hear me. Please unmute your mic and speak. Thank you. Thank you very much, Saddam. Thank you to all the violencers in the house and welcome to our guest. This is our church and our shrine and our mosque. And I hear we gather twice a week. Thank you for all you do here, Saddam, and all, all the co-hosts here. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure to be with you on space. My question is straightforward. It's a bit, um, there are three in one, but um, let me be, let me just go up and start it. Because uh, um, the first question is, are you obedient? Can we, obedient, say we have one of our own in government house when you win? Will you be accessible to the people when you enter Sadebe house? For context, Sadebe house is the government house. Lastly, would you positively compete with Abia State Alex Oti? the star performing governor, when you become governor of the Edo State, God willing, in September. Can we say we have another Alex O.T. version in Olumi De Akbata that obedience can be, a, can be proud of? And will you come to the violence space when, when you are governor so that we can always also celebrate you here? So the question of plenty, but is uh, all in one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Steve. Uh, you do well. Thank you. Uh, and thank you for welcoming me to your church, your shrine. I go to come well, well. So let me answer the last one. You can be sure, say, if, if uh, true, true, I become governor, you can be sure, say, I go to show well, well. Uh, I go to show. Now you still go tire for me. Uh, when I say, when I go tire for me, I go to show well, well. So um, you asked about uh, uh, whether or not I'm obedient. You asked about whether or not I will compete with uh, my elder brother, Dr. Alex O.T., but I think I missed your second question, Stephen, if you don't mind. Yeah, the second one is, will you, we, we, can we obedient say we have an obedient government, uh, governor in the government house? I will we be right to say so when you become the governor. Okay, thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Um, am I obedient? The short and simple answer is yes, I am obedient. But I think there's a longer answer, if you will permit me, because I think I... I it is more about an obedient state of mind. You know, if we if we look back to October 20, 2020, when we had the answers movement, when for the first time in a long time, uh, younger people, our young Nigerians, decided to take their destinies into their own hands. And, uh, and uh, I think that was the starting point of a, of a very new thing in Nigeria. And it resonated with many of us. Many of us who, who, who you know, we, we were almost shouting hallelujah because uh, Nigerians were stepping forward. And uh, for me, that is, that's the starting point. It's, it's such a big thing. It, it is a major, it is, it is a watershed moment or was a watershed moment for Nigeria. So that is where I take my bearing from. Where Nigeria, where we turned the corner with regard to taking our destinies into our own hands, and I was president of the bar at the time, and uh, I I had no hesitation and I felt no reluctance in identifying closely with uh, that ep episode uh, and ensuring that I provided all the support that I could as president of the bar, at risk to to self, because uh, I was uh, hounded and I was uh, I was criticised. For even by even by some who uh, my colleagues because they felt I was uh, putting the association at risk, but it was a cause that I did not think anybody should would hesitate to support. And so from that time on, I have continued to be of that state of mind. And so you can definitely be be uh, 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 certain or assured that uh, were I to emerge as governor of a uh, uh, state. You could you could put your hand to your heart and say that there is an obedient in uh, in government house on Osadebe Avenue, 
But I must say to you, Stephen, that um, uh, this thing that we're dealing with is much bigger than us. Uh, it is it is about the future of our country. It is about how we are going to turn or change the narrative or change the trajectory of our country. So I even hesitate to uh, to circumscribe this to any name or any individual. Uh, not Olu, not not Obi. I I I look to us and I say, let us recognize the moment for what it is. Um, this this nonsense must stop. And this nonsense I refer to is a nonsense of how Nigeria is governed to the detriment of her people. It must stop. And it is only this movement of this group of people who can ensure that it stops. And um, I, 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 I'm careful to circumscribe it because I don't want it to... You know, this is not this is not the first time, Stephen. I'm old enough to remember the Ali Must Go movement in 1978. I'm old enough to remember the march against, the march against IBB. Uh, President Babangida. But some of these movements, if we may call them that, they fell away, you know, they frittered away because because there was, you know, uh, how do I put it? Um, it was based on individuals of the time or certain persons at the time. No, it's, this is much larger than that. And so we must understand that we cannot even afford to circumscribe it or even afford to uh, put it in a straight jacket. This is the future of Nigeria we're talking about. And I will spend the rest of my life dedicating the rest of my life to this movement where we are going to turn around the fortunes of our country. And and even in recent times, I've noticed that there's been, because I, I understand, you know, sometimes body retire, you know, body not be wood. Uh, sometimes people get uh, discouraged, but I must use this opportunity to encourage the obedience, to encourage uh, all of us who subscribe to this ideal that nobody promised it to be easy. So when uh, when I hear that, oh, oh, uh, uh, some people have given up, some people have crossed over, some people don't port, some people don't, don't even some don't jackpot. No, nobody promised it to be easy. I am ready to stake my life for this. And I hope we all are. You know, I hope we all are. Brings me to Edo State and, uh, and the politicking going on in Edo State at the moment of which I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, pres- I'm, a, I'm, a I'm a I'm part of the dramatist person, you know, and and you know people who are pretenders, people who are uh, who have no business, who have never identified with this cause, uh, suddenly are infiltrating this space and uh, attempting to now claim that they, they they belong or that they they have always subscribed to this you know, i mean i mean we should be able to identify this for what it is uh, crass opportunism you know what i mean uh, we should be able to identify for what it is and so we should reject any pretender and reject any sheep in wolf clothing uh or wolf in sheep clothing forgive me and then um, and stay true to our ideals uh it it, it, it not go easy uh, there will be deprivation there will be threats there will be a loss of life and limb, but we must stay true to this because, it, you know, you must learn to plant trees, the shade of which you may not sit under. So this is for our children. This is for future, uh, for generations yet unborn. So uh, sorry for the roundabout uh, answer, but uh, am I obedient? Yes. Do I subscribe to the ideals? Absolutely. And uh, this is going to be what this is what I'm spending the rest of my life doing. Yes. Then the Alex Soti question, very important. Are we are we going to be a positive competition between the very very performing star governor? We are also proud of. Absolutely, Stephen. I was. It was only less than 36 hours ago that I sat down with His Excellency, and I had my notebook with me, and I and I was just asking him questions, you know, and I I wanted to know exactly, you know, the uh, exactly how he's making, how these things are working out in Abia. I am not a stranger to Abia, so I know that the Abia of today is, is night and day compared to the Abia that I knew before. The Abia of today, uh, you know, exciting things are happening. And so, uh, uh, who not like better things? So I, I went to see him to, to discuss with him and find out exactly, you know, what his template is because. Uh, uh, I intend to follow the template, but I intend to outdo that. I intend to, you know, what is the prayer of the father? Uh, what is the prayer of the elder? 
saying to King will do better past time now. So I'm sure His Excellency definitely wants to see us even outdo what he has achieved in uh, Abia. And you know, say, uh, I don't know the carry last. Uh -huh. If it's too bad, now bracket. But in this case, we're not going to bracket. Eh? We'll go past, uh, we'll go past what did they do for Abia. Uh, we'll go show them saying, uh, the the lane work. So once we get, when we get there, because your mouth too sweet. Eh? Look, we try. Uh, it is my my mouth is sweet. Sorry, <laughs> make I remove the sugar. Boy, I don't remove the sugar. Before you go, you go also walk out here for long. Please, I'm trying to make sure. I'm trying to make sure uh, we have as many questions asked to you today because they, uh, we have we have over a hundred request lines. People on the, uh, we have questions over three hundred questions that are coming at you. So please. I will want you to keep your answer as short as possible. If not, 90 minutes will have extra time. You know, say if you go football match, play match, you get as much good day draw, you go enter extra time, play penalty, you go feel there at least two o'clock. Oh. I know how to do it. I don't run, no, Saddam. I don't run. Aha, more fire than you. No, Wahala, we do here with you. Fire down, fire down. Wahala. What are they doing? Okay, okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for the time. Okay, let me pass the mic real quick right now. I'm going to open the floor. Um, uh, with um, a very dear woman um, to me, uh, I call my mommy. Mommy Bolale is up here, and I want Mommy Bolale to take the next few minutes to ask you her questions. Mommy Bolale, you have the space. Good evening, mom. Good evening. Good evening, everyone from my side. Uh, by Stolen Midday, welcome to Violence Space. This is our home uh, where we did great things over the last two years, and we will continue to do so. Right. My question is simple. I have been I have been observing the chatter on social media, right? And most, some of it is around your ethnicity because people say, because your name is Olumide, eh, that you're a Yoruba man. Can you please clear that up for us, sir? Is it just me? No, it's not just you. No. Basolumite, can you hear us? All right. Um, let me just use this next few um, is guys. Um, you know, uh, when we have gadgets like this, um, there are people that don't want the space to go on, there are people that don't like the conversations going on right now, and they're doing everything possible to make sure this space don't go on. So I believe the space is being massively reported. I'm getting so many fillers. Um People say they can hear. People get to leave and come back. So, just in case, just in case, just in case the space crashes or something, we will be back again um, to continue from when we stopped. So, I, I just want to put that disclaimer out there. Children of the roasted corn, children of the burnt uh, mechano generator, are doing all they can, all they can for this space not to go on. But please, we have bad news for you guys. In this case, crash a million times will be back up a million and one time. So please, I spare you guys, stop stressing yourself. Let's listen to this gentleman speak. Um, we're talking to him from the back channel. I don't think he can hear any of us right now. Um, Steve, can you hear me? Yes, Adam, I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, I just I just wanted to come to confirm. I think so, uh, yeah. I think uh, uh, His Excellency may be back. Can you, uh, Excellency? Can you hear us? I'm not going anywhere. I've been did here. Did you did you did you hear Mombolani's uh, uh, question, sir? No, not at all. Mombolani, can I ask your question again, please? Oh, oh, of course. Um, but so let me do what I my question was that I have observed on on Sorry, social Mombolani, media. Sir, can you hear her now? I can't. You can't no, hear no. her. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt to change devices. Okay, no, don't please. don't change devices. I think um, uh, Chibalale, you can't hear him. But can you hear me, Your Excellency? Uh, uh, Steve, you know what? I, I'm going to hear her on another. Okay. Another, uh, I can hear her on another. Okay, phone. perfect, perfect. So, Mumbala is gone. Okay, right. So the chatter on social media ha that I've observed over the last number of days since you emerged as the LP um, gubernatorial aspirant for. At Labour Party in Edo State is it's around your ethnicity. So basically, people are saying that you're a Yoruba man because your name is Olumide, 
Could you please clear that up for us, sir? Your Excellency, can you? Can, can, I, are you it, it will certainly delay, so let me. Yeah. I can hear her. First question on ethnicity. Okay, please, you can go on now, please. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, um, uh, Mommy Balanle. Uh, um, so, uh, um, Sadam, just confirm you can hear me, please. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Go on, please. Excellent. So, the, the issue of ethnicity, my, my, my ethnicity. So I, uh, uh, the matter I am here, uh, I just, I, so I'm just, I'm at my wit's end sometimes, you know, because, uh, you know, when you now have to start proving your beninness, uh, becomes uh, sometimes quite, uh, it's quite tedious. I am Benin. My father is Benin. My mother, of blessed memory, was Benin. Uh, we are from Oredo local government of a do state. Now. But my first name is Olumide, a Yoruba name. And my surname, Akpata, is spelled with a K. Now, the Yoruba version of that name is spelled A-P-A-T-A. -A -A. The Benins spell their version of the name A-K-P-A-T-A -A -A because in the Bini alphabet, you have what they call expletives. So the expletive B K P is in my name. But the Yorubas don't spell it with the K. So um, I belong to a group of, uh, a part of Benin or a group of Benin people who have Yoruba connections, heritage. Uh, 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 and, and everybody knows that with the Benins, uh, there's an inextricable, inextricable link between the Benins and the Yorubas. Uh, even my, my royal father, his uh, royal majesty, Omonoba Nedu, Kwakolokolo, Ewari II, at his coronation, even alluded to the fact that uh, there is an, there's a connection between the Benins and the Yorubas. So uh, there are many of us families in Benin who have who still bear Yoruba names till today. Nothing has nothing to do with uh, our ethnicity. It is just uh, an accident of history. Uh, many of us uh, moved away from Benin. Uh, at the behest of the Oba, the kings of the day, uh, went over to Akure Ijesha, traded there, lived there, married there. And then after the fall of the Benin Empire in 1897, after the British expedition, uh, many of those families, even before that time, not even, even before, forgive me, not, not the expedition, after the fall of the empire in the 15th century, uh, the Benin family, some of these families returned home. And so... And they came with their Yoruba families and Yoruba names. Actually, my surname Akpata was a nickname given to one of my ancestors. Akpata in Yoruba means somebody who's sturdy, who's who's uh, well well built, uh, like me actually. So, uh, uh, and so that is how that name stuck. So, but uh, uh, we are Bini, and um, uh, luckily I have uh, uh, one of my uncles, Professor Inosaka Akpata wrote a book on our ancestry where where has been clearly stated that uh, the Akwata family is a Bini family. And um, my grandfather was a, was a chief of the palace in 1939. It was the Obawanyi of Benin. And at a time when a, no non-Bini could ever aspire to be a chief of Benin, my grandfather was a chief in 1939. My father's elder brother was a senator. He represented Bendel Central. In the, uh, national, in the Senate in 1979, he was also the Obayuwana of Benin. My uncle, Chief Tayo Akpata, was uh, uh, of blessed memory, was the Ima of Benin. He was, his name was Omo Tayo Akpata. My uncle, the one I previously referred to, was Oluwa Femi Akpata. We, we've always, we, we, we bear Yoruba names and we bear Benin names. I am, my younger sister is Osarugwe. My cousins are Osato, Osarie Me. So it is a known fact. But again, I understand we don't teach history anymore in our schools. Uh, culture, we don't talk about our culture anymore. And so it's very easy for, for historical facts like this to get lost over time. And so uh, it's a challenge to me. I've taken it upon myself to ensure that 
uh, this book on my family tree. I'm going to make, I'm going to order for a reprint and I'm going to distribute it in our schools in the States, or at least so that people can read and understand that. That is how I have an uncle. He just passed. Senior, first Bini senior advocate, Kola Okeaine, Kola, first name, second name, Shola, surname, Okeaine, a pure Bini man. His father's house was on the Dahosa Street in, uh, in Bini. His son is also a senior advocate now. He is Adeto Kumbo, Okeaine. So it's, it's just the way, you know, just the way it is. And I'm sure there are parallels in other parts of Nigeria. In Onicha, there are people in Onicha who I know. Uh, originally, uh, they are originally from uh, Benue State, I think it is, or Kogi State. There are parts of the country where you find uh, those kind of uh, linkages. Uh, so uh, you don't now say that the person is not Bini because he has uh, uh, those kind of linkages. So, uh, uh, well, I hope I've been able to answer your question. I'm a Bini man, uh, very proudly so, by the way. And uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, I um, I. I uh, challenge anyone. Uh, maybe I'm, I'm very, very confident uh, to ask anyone who has evidence to the contrary to come forward. Thank you. Yeah, that, that answered my question, but perhaps you could greet your people in your language. Salam, can you hear me? Yes, sir. She, oh, you, okay. There was a follow-up. She said that perhaps you could greet your people in your language. That's what she asked as a follow-up. She asked me to greet my people in my language. Yes, sir. Are there many? Are there many people here? Have you been to Wako? Your Warima na. Warima, Warima. I wamata maweni. Warima, Ewatu. Wako, your ba atokwe. Nsinse. Wako, your wabota. Wabiz yekwe. Thank you very much for the opportunity. We are here, Wesley. He said, he said, thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know what I thank said, you. but I hope I, it entered. No not worry, you're not the cost yourself. Don't worry, not <laughs> All right, thank you very much, sir. Guys, um, I'm going to pause this space right now because I see, you know, uh, you know, uh, there, there have been so much accusations in the past couple of weeks uh, that they are paying us 500,000 to those space. I people come to this place, 300, 300, 3,500 of you. If I charge people 2,000 now for this space now, if you pass 500,000 naira, eh? but I'm not charging people, no. The only thing I say people should do to this space is to tweet this space and like this space. People have already tweeted it. You will not hear his voice till I get at least 3,000 retweets. Eh? Make do it like that. What do they do now for this country? Sir? What do they do not like free things? Maybe that's why people have to know. Hmm? Please retweet the space and share the space. Um, we are, we are, what is, what is happening here? Let's get this space rocking. Eh? Retweet the space, share the space, and get two more people into the meeting, please. Take the next few seconds. If not, I will just deal with my guy. We're going to chat for backstage. Eh? We can know how that day. I better go here. Are you people retweeting it at all? Sadam, why are you waiting for them to retweet it? Please, the Facebook link is on the Jumbo Tron. Please share the Facebook link as well for your people. To follow on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, anonymous gang. Anonymous gang. Anonymous gang in the building. I don't know what I'm going with a three face. Eh? No, Wahala. We're still there for now. Eh? Please, our Bini people, request the mic. We're going to be bringing you guys all up and ask your questions with the hashtag Ask Olumide Apata. Only questions asked on the comment section will be asked here on the platform. And just in case you don't get a chance to speak, or asking questions, but we're going to do all our best to make sure we bring everybody up to asking questions. But before that, you must have retweeted the space or liked the space. That is how we do things over here. Hmm? Thank you very much, and God bless you. All right, and um, before I make a look at the let's uh, when Niger has the retweet number, is it, are we doing well? Can we, can we, or do we cut our break? Or make I even play some safe? Make I, make I, make <laughs> I mean, I it's, 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 it's not, it's not bad, but we can do, can do better. I think. Uh, let's do, let's, let's, let's take a music break. 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 Thank you. 
All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we are still up here tonight. Is the violence phase one on one with Olumide Apata, uh, the LP gubernatorial candidate of Edo State, and he's here live with us. He has been serenading us, which is wonderful. Um, I'm not trying to hype you, but I think uh, the, the intelligence here is top notch. Edo, you cannot miss something like this. That's just me, Odi, my own two cents. So, you guys, now you people can see. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I don't know how. Uh, well, is, are we good to go? Are we good to go? Okay, I think we are good to go. Yes, we are good to go. My 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 my, my Wala record artist, uh, uh, Jimmy, has given us a thumbs up, so we are good to go. So, all right, guys, let's keep the space up and running. Let me bring in my sister right now, sweet child, sweet child. Let me bring you to the atmosphere right now, and you know, let's ask Olumide a question. Sweet child, you have the space in the minute. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for having us and thank you for having a governor to be here um before i ask my question i just want to let um his excellency know that right behind you you've got supporters and we will keep ensuring that we fight defend anything that has to do with Media Pata, labor party and the obedient movement so i would like to ask this question We've been seeing this news going around often, and I would like you to clear the area so it should just be done and dusted. We don't have to revisit it. We don't have to keep saying all that. We just know that we'll move straight to grassroots. So now, Edo State made a firm decision to er eradicate um, godfatherism, right? And we are actually very determined to keep it that way. We don't want to repeat it. We don't want to have anything that has to do with godfatherism. So there are a whole lot of rumors, right, circulating that um, Obaseki is your godfather, Obaseki is backing your candidacy, Obaseki is the one pushing you, Obaseki is this, Obaseki is that. Could you please help us confirm this accuracy, if it's true or not? Just, just let us have your response to this. Thank you very much. Excellency, did you hear that? Thank you, sweet child. Yes, I did. Can you hear me? Perfect, Mr. Go on. So I, I, want, I simply can first thank him for the very, very heartwarming comments and uh, show of support. I'm really grateful. And uh, I hope that I'm able to justify the confidence to repost. Uh, to your question, um, I was asked this question on a Rise TV a couple of weeks ago, a couple of, probably a month ago. And I, and I said, I said, I said, I said, head the big personal kind cap. Right, so um, uh, I've heard the rumor is being bandied around over and over again. It's almost it's a broken record as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yes, I know uh, His Excellency Gordon Basaki is a family friend. Uh, you know, Beniz, uh, Beniz, most of our families are related one way or the other. So, but the, the truth is that the Obasekis and their partners have a long standing relationship, right. So we can't deny that. Um, uh, and also, I'm a, I, I am an Edo man who has lived in Lagos for over 25 years, just like Godwin Obaseki lived in Lagos before he returned home to be governor. So, of course, our paths have crossed over. He's, he, he was in the capital market. I'm a corporate lawyer. So there's no doubt that we, could all, they know, we don't know ourselves. Now, my senior bros, they're not behind that one. However, uh, now that the matter ends. That is where the matter ends. I am not his stooge. I totally disagree with his style of governance. Uh, I think for me, if you ask me, he, let, he fall our hands because many of us had hoped that when he went to Benin to be governor, there will be a total change in, in the narrative, but nothing has changed. I think we're worse off after seven years of Obaseki. So, uh, and I keep on saying this, that it is it's not a, um, uh, how do I put it? I can say this. I can say this from uh, now to tomorrow. Who won't believe with it? They won't believe. They go believe them. But the truth of the matter is, we all know who is Obaseki's candidate. So I don't know why we are running away from the truth. Uh, uh, that individual has emerged at the primaries of the PDP. I am in the Labour Party. That individual has been a part of his government for the last eight years as his chief economic advisor. That individual before that, those eight years, was a member of the economic management team of the previous government. That is his choice. So all this one when they talk, say, oh, Louis, his choice, oh, Louis, his choice. I don't understand. He, he really, 
the, the matter tire me really because I have made it clear to everybody who cares to listen that you know it's night and day. I totally, I totally distance myself from that government, and uh, I think Edo has been underserved by that government. And Labour Party is here to the rescue because Labour Party is ma Papa, Mama, and Pekin. We are about the people. We are people centric. That is not a Baseki style. That is not the PDP style. So uh, uh, we are here to make a difference. And, and, uh, and um, you know, another thing, and I, 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 I've had to say this before, I know, why this, I know why this rumor is being bandied about. Because people who are banding that rumor about or who are spreading that falsehood know that if you are tagged with that label as an Obaseki uh, stooge, you, you are dead on arrival. Because the people are anxious to see the back of the man. They don't want to see. They want him to get out of government house like yesterday. So, and they don't want him to leave any vestige of himself in government house. So anybody who is labeled an Obaseki uh, stooge has no chance in hell to be governor of Edo State. So those who don't want me to emerge as governor have found it very convenient to call me an Obaseki stooge. That's the, that's, that is the, that is the story. And I asked again on national television a couple of uh, months ago, I said, we must ask ourselves the question, why is it such a problem? If, if, if the man had even performed well, many of us would be scrambling to say, yes, so now he send us. He has performed so badly. I don't, I don't want to have anything to do with his, his, his with administration or with him because at least uh, because he, 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 he fought our heart. You know, so I am not his agent, I am not his stooge, I am not representing him, I am, represent I am my own man. And uh, and um, as we go on, we will demonstrate this, uh, and we will show people, and, and the people are actually discerning, they know, they know, they can tell that uh, this is just a dummy that is being sold to the good people of Edo State. We are here to make a difference, the people matter, we are here to deal with the, the people's issues, Make it front burner, make it priority. Obaseki does not have empathy, doesn't have compassion. Those are key ingredients required in anybody who is in, who is in public office. Empathy, compassion. You must be interested in the people. I, 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 I feel for the people. That's why I left the uh, private sector. I have left my life as a corporate lawyer to come home and make a difference. So, sweet child, um, um, please tell anybody. You who, who comes up with this uh, this conspiracy theory that is bunkum, it's, it's, it's utter rubbish. I not be a Baseki agent. Uh -huh. The person the big person thing. By the way, which message you want to send me? Now the road went not her, school went uh, hospital went not do now, now that message you want to send me. I beg, I mean, we leave that we leave that matter. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sal. And you want to tell you, say, as you just talk, say, now the road when you not do, now the hospital when you abandon, but then another one want to send you. Thank you, say, you help us clear the air. And these people, when they go around, they talk, say, apparently, you want to continue with the uh, first where they already fail, you want to continue with the governors. And they tell them, say, not nah, lie. Say, the person when we know, the look D when we know, he not fit. And thank you, say, you don't already clear up. And I would like actually also mention, say, I be better at those central lady. Straight All from right. Echo, my mama na Echo, my mama, my mama na, papa na Echo, mom. East and mm -hmm. West. So we know better thing. We know they follow. We know they do say, oh, say na wato. No, no, no. We don't already see, say, we know if we continue with that. You know, you know our side now. You know, say how they take abandon them. And yes, again, let me say, you know, just not in Nigerian. You know, going to be a uh, barrister, lawyer. You can't be obedient because we know say every obedient now we can get conscious. Obedient when get integrity. Obedient when we know say you feel work for the people and you know you are there for the Edo people. And I would say a very thing. I don't really able to congratulate you now. Congratulations. So, I collect them. I receive them. I collect them. I believe you. I believe you. Thank you very much. And we look forward to working with you. Like I said earlier, we will not take this lightly. We will ensure that LP takes it. And we're ensure that Olu D becomes the governor of Bedo State. Thank you. Are you? I, I appreciate Saddam. If you just give me one second to respond, no yes, I thank you very I thank you very much. And you are spot on. Eh? You see, number one, uh, 
whoever is this matter a referendum this election when we the talk when when they come so who want make obaseki continue make him vote for pdp candidate who want make obaseki go house carry in load everything come out uh, beneath vote for labor party it was in a night and day total difference i got i, I happy say you mentioned uh, edo central but yeah, yeah see i went around edo state three times and edo central two three times and what I have seen, eh, it just convinced me. Say I made the right decision to run for office. Matter this matter, I not be here. When I start my campaigning again after Easter, I will go with my video camera. I am going to do blog, uh, vlogs. Make una see as matter bad reach for those states. Make una see as matter as this matter reach for those states. I ran, I recently renovated a school in a, in a Ewato in Edo Central. If you remember that school. Now the school when uh, children they lie down for on top of their belly they write uh, write uh, they take notes for class. It is, it's, yeah, I can't. I got to go there now. As nobody agreed to, I go there. Go do one now. If they like me, they talk to politics, politics. Not concern me. I go do one because we don't know whether president will come up for that school, whether governor will come up for that school. So I go do one because the our they don't care about our people. So all those talk of uh, uh, look, uh, monk, uh, a leopard cannot change his spots. Obasaki, they were they, me and they were they. Eh? I thank you, Sweet Child, for the opportunity. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Sweet Child, for that wonderful um, convo and question. All right, let's keep the conversation rolling. Guys, let me check. Me, 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 I go the, I'm going to be holding this, you know. You see, you see they say you are, you people are, are a product, your leaders, your leaders are a product of the people. You not go to shout, don't lie, it's how you, things are hard, do. You not own, you not hand, self hard. Like, you people on this space, you people are the problem, you people are the, you people are the Binance that's making uh, Naira go high. You know, I don't feel just with this space. I don't feel just share space. So, I'm not saying I suspect. Eh? You be like, say this way that you talk now. You be like, say, I'm a do main pass with you. Eh, children of the roasted corn. You don't call them what they are. Children mm. of the roasted corn. Uh, and children of the burnt mechanical generator. Please retweet the space and share the space. Hmm? So, are, are you people not gaining knowledge? Are you not gaining knowledge? What people don't hear? We're not licking microphone here. We are speaking to facts. No licking microphone like ice cream. All right, let's keep the conversation rolling. Um, <laughs> you know they laugh. JJ, are you ready to call me right now? If not, I'm going to pass the mic over back to Steven. Sorry, back to uh, um, Steven, then I'll come to Bells. Well, Nigeria, if you have a question, you can always inter uh, come in with your question. JJ, if you're not ready, let me know. Are you ready, please? I'm ready. I'm here. Okay, JJ, you have the space. Please, in a minute, ask your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lida, don't want Um, Saddam, thank you very much. And um, Steven, I go the house. I'm going to quickly ask, sir. Eh? So, how do you intend to combat the menace um, mm -hmm. caused by crime in Edo State when you become the governor? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you so much. You know, this one, uh, this is a question that is so, 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 so important. Um, for me, I am going to attack that problem frontally. And uh, and the first thing to do is just create outlets for, for our young people. It, 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 it's a question that speaks to the issue of our youth in a dual state. And the fact that uh, there's a total, uh, there's a total, almost near total failure of government to provide opportunities for the youth. Now, uh, I went to the University of Benin. I graduated in 1992. So I'm not unfamiliar with cultism. But when me, I go to school, when people do cult finish, as they graduate, they graduate for the cult, they go, go face life. But what, what we find today is that uh, people, these young people take cultism, carry and enter town, turn, and they turn themselves into contractors to these horrible politicians who have weaponized this thing and then use them as agents for for their dastardly uh, uh, dastardly enterprise. And every election cycle, these young kids offer themselves, and they are used by people. When they will use their children for that kind, of, you know, all their children they learn up. They use them for that kind of stuff. So for me, oh, we are going to create opportunities. Firstly, uh, uh, um, because cultism is not even. Is, has even gone to our secondary schools. It's not just in universities. So, firstly, we must create we must create outlets for vocational education, more opportunities 
for the young people to gain employment. Look at the uh, 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 look at the entertainment sector. There's a whole value chain there that the state can invest in so that we have job opportunities for the young people. Who go join court when they get work? Who go join court when they get work? He can put food on the table. Who go join court when if he take care of your family? You understand what I mean? So it's a double whammy. It's a, it's a double tragedy, really, because number one, you don't give them opportunity. Then number two, you now go and introduce them or use them for uh, for this uh, all sorts of uh, perfidious uh, activities. So it's a double. It's a tragedy in more ways than one. And so for me, as a matter of deliberate and intentional policy, we must first and foremost zero tolerance for this cultism. It not go work. If when we did government house labor party, it not go work. So we go. We know there are young people. We know they call. They say we not go leave this thing. We not go leave this thing, and we will tell them. And then they hear what. But we will also add to that options and alternatives. We will put also options and alternatives on the table. So not be say you just can say commodities and you don't you don't give them opportunity or options. So job creation, uh, opportunities for vocational education. Uh, 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 um, opening the space in other sectors where uh, I, I use the entertainment industry as an example again this is the value chain even that, even if it's just just getting people to learn how to uh, uh, to to work in the in the concert uh, the music concert sector there's so much opportunity there sound engineers uh, you know uh, those who help with uh, even creating the stage the set 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 design and all of those things there's so much going on in all of these sector, sectors, you know, so that I think we can create opportunities for ventilation, outlets for these young people to, to you know, to, to, to express themselves in, 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 in a multifaceted ways. But, but because, because our politicians and those who are in power in the other parties are self-serving, so they keep these guys because they don't say they're going to need them for front. Labour Party will not need cultists. The people are with labor. We don't need any courts to enforce anything. We will not indulge in that kind of uh, brigandage. So I will attack it frontally. I'm not a stranger to the issue. I know uh, people who are who, who, who are involved in this kind of uh, uh, shenanigans. And we're going to call them and tell them that the game is up. We're not going to agree. It just will not happen under my watch. But like activities and alternatives so that this is not a zero, a, a case of uh, at all, at all. You know, you know what I mean? Because as we say, at all, at all, and bad parts. So that you give them penalties, you know, so that there is a incentive to, to do away with, uh, with a you know, of uh, uh, behavior. This is very antisocial. This is very, uh, very, uh, I don't even know. I, I, I'm at a loss for words to describe uh, the next that has been, that is called state today. Thank you, Joshua. All right, thank you very much, Joshua. Thank you, very guys. Uh, we are still up here. It's violence piece one on one with Olivia Apata. First half has just finished. We'll be going to the second half. Please, as we always treat the space, share the space. Let's get more people into the conversation. I want to remind you something on this platform. This is a record case. Um, you're being listened to by thousands of people across different platforms. And your words will be held before you someday. You've said some things here that I will come back here on this platform because you don't know, give me shishi. When you enter there and you do anyhow, Nami go see there here, drag you. I'm saying this now to your face and to the to the thousands of people listening to you here right now. You said you'll be coming back on violent but space. No when you go enter there, when I call you, you say I am too busy. We will remind you. You said it all. That I'm not, I'm not wrong, no. I'm no, not wrong. Allah, I'm not wrong. May God, may God keep all of us, give us long life, eh? So, because as you see me, I know they put water for mouth when I talk. I don't pull my punches. So, so as I talk, I'm going to say, no, Allah. And uh, you can hold me to Thank my word. Thank you very much. I will hold you to your words when the time comes. Let's keep the conversation rolling. Let me bring in right now, Um, I'm going to take uh, my, my co host again, one more question each. Then I will bring the question, I'll take it down to all the listeners. I'm going to be bringing the speakers up. Um, right now, so please, I will be we will be prioritizing with people from Edo State first. Please, we will be prioritizing with his people, people that are going to vote. So whatever divide you're on, because I know 
there's a big elephant in the room and probably if I, if none of them ask that question i'm going to ask the question myself so what we'll be bringing up wherever you are wherever you stand on the divide as long as you're an obedient as long as you are a do light on this platform please request the mic you will have a chance to ask questions here there is no it is not a one-sided no 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 give me one couple i just want every do to have a chance to speak to this man because i think he's 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 man enough to answer your question so please guys bring it on let me pass the mic right now to um sarah are you ready to ask your question or do i go back to pearls or mr steven sarah are you there All the Nigerian people on that topic. Let's go now. MTN, MTN also run away. MTN don't run. You see, every company they run from Nigeria now. Like say, right? They say they do Olympics. So let's okay, let me talk to people that are Steven, Steven Nigeria USA. <laughs> I can talk to the talk. <laughs> Nigeria, uh, when his excellency comes, he, he would uh, he will work with the federal government to fix data, internet infrastructure in Nigeria. It's a crime, actually, not to have good internet service in 2024. That's not my question. Your excellency, thank you so much. I've been grinning from ear to ear. You are really a very, very uh, passionate and a likable person. Your ideas are spot on. And, and I want to quickly rush to my question before Saddam ring bell. My question is, your Excellency, Edo State has the highest number of citizens based in diaspora. Don't quote me on the, I don't have the numbers, but naturally, now we many pass for the diaspora based on our number compared to other states in Nigeria. It is rumored that every house in Edo has a family in Europe or not or North America. How do you intend to engage this vital demography to ensure they buy into your agenda and support your campaign and also return home? to invest in the modern Edo you are envisioning? Thank you, Stephen. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't have the numbers too, but uh, you are not too far off the mark. It is a, it is a huge number of, uh, of our people who are in the diaspora. And... Um, it is a it is a major resource that has, however, to my in my to my mind and in my view, has remained untapped uh, uh, in way in ways that are, would that would be optimal. Uh, I, I think it's quite disappointing because, like I said, it's a huge resource. Uh, we know how many of our people are out there passionate about home. Uh, uh, diaspora remittances to a new state. I mean. Uh, is uh, is phenomenal, and I don't think it's equaled in any other part of the of the country. Again, like you, I'm not going to I'm not going to you know uh, bandy number. I'm not going to uh, say hold me to these numbers. But these are these are this is the the feedback we get. So the question is, why are we not utilizing this group of people optimally or effectively? And so. I definitely intend to use them because it is in my enlightened self-interest to do so. Uh, um, I mentioned the school. I, 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 I renovated a block of classrooms in the school in Ewato, in, uh, in, uh, in Edo State. And I tell you what, the, the, the school authorities were afraid to engage with me because there just seems to be an unwritten rule that... Uh, uh, people who want to help out in that manner are not exactly welcome. And I've engaged with the diasporans, uh, some of them, and they have told me that they are always, whenever they try to engage or they try to work with government, they are met with red tape, uh, bureaucracy, and, and of course, and a, a, a lack of transparency. So they are, they are discouraged and they, and, they, and they just keep their monies to themselves or try and intervene directly. But the result of intervention is that it's haphazard. It is not organized. So you don't get the kind of value you want uh, where, uh, from that kind of intervention. So so for me, it's not rocket science at all. It's a no-brainer. Uh, we know where our people are uh, in, in the Americas, in, in Europe. We will engage with them. We will set up a PPP office uh, or at least a department in the PPP office for this purpose. There are people who who traveled to the Netherlands from Budo, uh, sorry, from EC, uh, from, uh, forgive me, from Igbo Bazoa, 
there are people who traveled from uh, from Abudu and who are passionate about their home, who want to come back to a, a better society and are ready to contribute to that. So there must be a way to harness that uh, resource. And and so for me, I I intend to engage with them. It's just about all about inclusion. Let them under, know that you consider them to be important. Let them let them know that you consider you value their contributions. And uh, and and don't talk down on anybody. Uh, nobody has a monopoly over of, over all ideas, or nobody's a repository of all wisdom. You must take in. Uh, the, uh, taking their own uh, counsel, their own contribution. So I intend to, I, I recognize this resource for what it is. It's a, it's a potential, uh, uh, how do I put it? It is, it is a put, it will actually transform a do state if we're able to engage with our diasporans. And not just about money, uh, Stephen. It's not just about money. There are also, we have very skilled edolites in the diaspora very skilled adolites and we need those skill sets to come and help us leapfrog our economy so not just about bringing them money but we want to bring back their skill sets you want to we want to bring them back home to help us grow areas of the economy i was talking to uh sweet child just now about re rerouting or redirecting our, our youth uh I, I believe it was sweet child and, and one area that, that uh, we, we, we need help from our diaspora and it's sports development. Uh, I, I cry every time. I've been to Afuze three times now. And I look at the sports institute that was set up by our father, Brigadier General uh, Samuel Ubermudia. And the place has gone to, I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, it's uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's a mess. I was speaking with the former minister of education just yesterday. And he said to me that, that is something that we, uh, sorry, former minister of sports, uh, Sunday, Sunday Diary. And he was just telling me that we must revive uh, the Afuze Institute. And we need help of, from our diasporas to do this. We need private sector participation. Because once we can get sports going again in a do state, once we can start to tap that, uh, start to pick, uh, catch them young. And, 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 you know, harness the talents of our young people. Once you can train them in athletics, in football, in basketball, in, the, in uh, all of those sports, you will see a drop in, 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 in criminality and all those causes. That is one outlet. One outlet that is attractive to the young people. But we need the help of our diaspora. So I always scratch my head in amazement when I see all of this opportunities available and, and uh, our governments are doing nothing. Our government is doing nothing or near nothing about it. That will change under our watch when Labour Party gets into Osadebe Avenue. Thank you, Stephen. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, let me, let's pass the mic right now to Edo Lights. Edo Lights, please, if you're not Edo Lights, no vex. So we're going to allow every other person to come up and ask questions, but let's take Edo Lights first. It is their home. It is this is an island that is going to govern them and ask them questions. So we the outsiders, please calm down. I see we have over a hundred and plus of you guys requesting for the mic. Please, we're going to take Edolites first before we bring in another person. If the time for extra time, extra time, we'll bring other people. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. All right, let's go on real quick right now. I think Pels, you have a last question for him or oh, um. Um, let me, yeah, yeah, Pels, please go with your last question, please. Thank okay, you. Thank you very much, Sardan. So my last question is, um, Your Excellency, I am a nursing practitioner and also a PhD student, and my research is in a health-related topic. So I'm very much interested in um, knowing what your plans are for the health sector in Edo. And um, I also like to know what your views are um, on healthcare insurance. And how do you intend to implement these views? Thank you. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Thank you very much. Um, healthcare and uh, healthcare. What are our plans for the healthcare sector? Good, great question. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, you may not know, I'm the child of a doctor. Uh, my father is a doctor. He's eighty four this year he's, he's 84 but uh, i grew up in the house of a doctor so 
healthcare is healthcare is a human right. Healthcare is a human right, and um, um, I, I'm glad you are you are a healthcare professional. And so maybe maybe as we have this conversation, you might tell me whether I'm being naive or not. But I, the first thing that that bothers me is the fact that our primary healthcare we just pay lip service to the issue of primary healthcare. Uh, the primary healthcare system, where you're supposed to have primary healthcare centers, is is I understand it to be the hub and spoke model. The these primary healthcare centers feed feed the tertiary institutions. There's no reason why uh, Mama Mama Osayande would have to take uh, a little Osayande to Central Hospital or to to UBTH in Ubo just because he has a there's some he has a migraine or something. Uh, and, and each government, each each. Each aspirant or each candidate comes and tells us how they will do so much in the healthcare sector, how they will, in the health sector, they will set up primary healthcare centers. And, and I'm just amazed that it just never happens. We don't, they, are, they, are, they don't exist where they exist. There's no, there's no personnel, there's no equipment, there are no, there's no medication. And, and, and this is something that is, is for the, is closest, is for the, is for the people. So I, I, in England, we know the NHS has been there for, for what since 1948 or thereabouts, uh, 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 and and it keeps on going. With its, it has its stresses, it has its strains, but it keeps on going. We do not even bother. So I mean, healthcare, as far as I'm concerned, in Nigeria, and and I ask my medical doctor friends to forgive me, it just doesn't exist. It just doesn't exist, and it's not at the level of where at the level where you find the bulk of the people. They do, and, and again, I repeat, it's a human right. But, but so what do I plan to do in a new state? We will deal with it from the, at, the, at that basic level. Primary health care uh, 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 issues must be dealt with. We must, we must adopt the, uh, you know, the, uh, the, should I call it the Zenith Bank model? You will find the primary health care system as a center at every, every turn. I mean, nobody need, need to walk more than five minutes to get to somewhere where they can receive medical attention. I mean, it, it's, that's, the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the gold standard. So we will address that firstly. And then also, in, again, this is why I refer to our Edo diasporans. I don't know if you've been to in Charlotte, in North Carolina, you see all our doctors who are there. And we have, we have so many of our, of our people who, in the medical space who can come and help lift us out of the doldrums. And for me... We will need to ensure that while we deal with the primary healthcare centers, we address the issues of our tertiary institutions, and we and it's, it's all about priority. It's all about will. If you want to do it, you will do it. And so, which and, and this is a perfect point to segue into your second question, which is about insurance, because insurance there's you can't you can't people insurance is. How do I put it? Is is a is a sine qua is a condition precedent for uh, 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 for healthcare delivery in 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 any in any in any jurisdiction because you 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 need good healthcare and good healthcare costs money. So the insurance uh, uh, I mean I I have been on Bupa in a, in a, in the United Kingdom now for what for what twenty one years. I'm also insured here in Nigeria. There is no way you can access healthcare if there's no proper insurance system. We have private insurance here in Nigeria, but not accessible to most of the of most of the most of the populace. So, when I was president of the Nigerian Bar Association, one of the first things I did was to give free cover to our uh, to our lawyers, uh, uh, um, about one thousand plus lawyers who we saw, who we enrolled into the NHI, what was then the NHI, uh, NHIS, but now the NHIA in, in Nigeria, to, 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 to make sure that lawyers across board get a, a, a cover. And, and, and the system, with all these uh, uh, stops and starts, at least it worked, you know, but it's something that must be built upon. Delta State, our, our sister state, have already, I mean, Dr. Okowa, the immediate past governor, is a medical doctor, so I guess he understood it. So they've already put in place a, 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 a health insurance a, a system in Delta State. So you can be certain, you can be certain that one of the first things I would do as governor of Edo State is to put a health, and I know the people who, who did it in, in Delta. I know those who, I have so many 
contacts in the in the medical space uh, and, and i will that's one of the first things we will do health insurance first so that people can uh, uh, civil servants uh, market women uh, you know can access healthcare and then and then we will uh, put the infrastructure in place primary healthcare centers and then uh, the tertiary institutions so so for me it's not rocket science i like it's the, it's the absence of will absence of political will or it's just again like i said this government is lacking in compassion and lacking in empathy that's why this issue is not a front burner issue to them thank you all right thank you very much sir. thank you i hope i hope that was well answered um before i come okay steve let me come to you and i'll take some questions from the comment section before i start bringing up our speak our quest, um, um questions from the um request here so please um um steve you have asked your second question right Yes, I have. I think Sarah, Sarah, we wanted to get Sarah to ask. I have asked my question. Okay, I'm I'm here. I'm All here right, now. Sarah, go ahead. Hi. Are you on top of a three? What's that? Sadam, what did you say? Are you standing on top of a three? Because the last time your network was shaking like somebody's hand. But please ask your question. I went I, I went to stand on my village tree. On the village that's our wall. We won't be near. We won't want the wall. That's the tree that I'm currently standing on. <laughs> So, can I go ahead, guys? If you are if you are down from the tree, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good evening, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well. Yeah. So I have a series of questions. Yeah. Or let me just start with one. Um, no, sorry, please, just one, please. No, I will start. No, with you one ask just then... one, please. I would not put the ask question and just one. So choose yeah, your so most important question, without... please. <laughs> no. Okay, let me ask one first. Okay, um, His Excellency, uh, welcome to our our worldwide space. And once again, um, congratulations. Uh, I actually wanted to ask you because currently the debt level of Edo State is ridiculously high. Um, there's a um, debt level as of twenty twenty four to be over four hundred billion. But the one that is actually confirmed is about around um, 2022, which is around 223 billion. So with the whole issue that is currently happening with Edo State right now, because the current government hasn't done anything as regards infrastructure, especially towards one of the greatest um, pinpoints of Edo State, which is agriculture and the agro-allied industries. So the infrastructure, especially on road water supply and as well as these um, industries what are you going to do about level are you going to say or are you going to try to reduce that debt build infrastructure or we are just going to go straight into infrastructure and not worry about that debt level because if we are looking at it in a way of ensuring it actually makes um of IJR, would you jump into the infrastructure and work on it? Because that's not what this current government is doing. This current Sarah, government please, is saying... Um, let's try to keep the question as short as possible, please. Oh, sorry. This current government is saying that the debt level is so high and also that uh, most of this project is supposed to be done by the federal because they don't have money for it. So are you going to go, go to... Are you going to see how you can reduce the debt level and not um, work on so many projects or... You're just going to say, okay, well, let's do the project first and then see what what happens. So that's my question. That's my first question. <sighs> Thank you, Sarah. It's a long question, but uh, we, we, we will get there. Debt level. Okay, so let me even shock you and let me probably depress you a bit. Uh, yes, 2022, two, two, three billion. But the figures that I have at my disposal and time, these are DMO. These are my sources are the, the, my source is the DMO uh, debt management office. I do know well over 500 billion at the moment, right? This is the information I have. I stand to be corrected. But I tell you what, I have no problem with debt. I, all I say is that a, 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 a responsible borrower must pay his or her debt as and when due. But debt is a fact of life, fact of commerce, fact of uh, development. So I have no problem with debt. But the problem is, what do you borrow for? What do you use? The, you borrow money. Borrowing is not a crime. What is a crime is to borrow 
and not use the money for the purpose for which you took it or to divert it to other sources. I mean, if you borrow, you must prioritize the people because it is the same people or their children who will repay these loans. So you must, you must, it must be people-centric, people-focused projects that you borrow for. So, yeah, so the, 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 the government of the day uh, borrowed money and, uh, and built a modular refinery. Uh, but they forgot that the modular refinery will need a, a feedstock. So their plan was to truck the feedstock from that, with the feedstock being uh, crude, and truck it to where the modular refinery is located. Borrowed to build it, too. And unfortunately, they forgot that there's no road, which speaks to your question of the infrastructure. And so you have a project, White Elephant, as far as I'm concerned, for which you borrowed and you are paying. Uh, phenomenal uh, uh, interest in return. So it, it is. My question is, what do you borrow for, right? Uh, and, and 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 so there's a huge infrastructure deficit in Edo State. And so, I mean, I really can't see on ground. You know, there's no there is a disconnect between the figures that are being bandied around as the money is owed by Edo. There's a and, and then and then what we see on ground. Is, is is shocking because if you borrowed so much what did you use the money for uh, and it states that uh, last time i checked your combined income is somewhere in the 16 billion naira range per month so you are doing 16 billion per month which is in any currency is a chunk of change right so you are doing that kind of income you are borrowing and i can't, I can't see the results on ground so i go around benin State capital, the roads are bad. It's about to start. It's, the rains are here, are upon us again, and all our people have their hearts in their mouths because just one day of rainfall, <clears throat> and you will find that there's a, the flooding will blow your mind. So we have drainage issues. <clears throat> so I will focus on debt repayment. Yes. But please understand that I will not lose sleep over borrowing if we need to borrow. The question is when we borrow, we must borrow and put it into uh, uh, sectors that can get returns so we can pay our uh, pay down whatever it is we borrow. You mentioned agriculture. I will borrow for agriculture. I will definitely borrow for agriculture because of the multiplier effect on the economy. So that is an area that is so I'm so passionate about because not only will it will you through agriculture you can feed your people, which is the very first thing. Coincidentally, I was listening to Dr. Additional, uh, the president of the African Development Bank today on television. Same point he was making. You can you feed the people. You must first thing you must feed your people. So if we invest in agriculture, we can feed the people. And I'm not just farming. It is the entire value chain. So you're talking about investing in uh, 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 storage facilities. But more importantly, you must encourage the sector because government must be a ready off taker of produce. So you, you government must organize itself in such a way, maybe with private sector partners, so that you can off take so that the farmer, the farmer is guaranteed off take so that he is able to go back and 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 uh, and, uh, and uh, plow the land again and plant again. You must also invest in uh, uh, irrigation technology so that we can get the farms, we can get better yield. Or beyond irrigation technology, you must also work with our research institute so that we are getting better yields and we are we are also uh, ensuring that the farmers uh, are doing a quick turnaround. And you are you are, you are encouraging or you are. You are enabling all uh, year-round production in our farms. But beyond that, you recognize that agriculture, the cultural sector, can easily be one of the largest employers of labor. So the youth that we're talking about previously can get employed. So, so it's the whole value chain. Uh, uh, you you know that the, the, in, 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 there's also the uh, there's also the possibility of setting up industries, agro allied industries that are value adding. So that we're not just dealing with uh, fat produce. We, we add value to those produce. And we, do, we do tomato paste. We do uh, orange juice or whatever. can sell them. There's so much that can be done.
loan in the sector for which we can borrow for. And in, in good time, we'll be able to pay off those loans. And then at the same time, you have improved the economy of the farmer. You have, uh, you have produced, you have helped to generate jobs. And last but not the least, you are feeding your own people. No brainer. But uh, I guess uh, common sense is not one. So these people who are controlling the levers of government, they, their priorities are, uh, uh, I, I don't know, their priorities are somewhere else. So, so that's, that's, yeah. I, I drive around, I mean, there's a, there's, there are no roads. I mean, forget it, there are no roads. And then I see a sign where the state government says, forgive us, this is a federal road. I mean, what a sorry excuse. You know what I mean? This is a federal road. You never told any of the electorate when you came to ask for their vote that uh, there's a there's a distinction between federal and federal. There are many other things that I know. The government and federal roads are getting reformed. So, so uh, sir, borrowing is not the problem. The problem is what do you do with uh, the loans that you get? And then, of course, you must be responsible enough to pay back your loans. So you must make sure that you put those loans into uh projects that are not only uh, uh impacting the people but can uh, derive value and so you can pay your loan i hope i've been able to answer your question all right thank you very much sir. thank you uh, please i just want to ask i just want to ask a question you just said something and i want to be, are you really certain you say there are signboards uh, saying sorry in a state, sorry this is a federal road forgive us is that real or is just not be one, not be one, not be two. Say, Please bear with us. This is a federal road. Not be one, not be, not be three. Uh, now uh, we have to bring in some Edo people to confirm what this. This is this. No, I go take the pictures then and give you. No worry. Okay, I will look at that. All right, let's do the just flow it. Um, um. Osaro, Osaro, can you hear me? Confirm. Osaro, can you hear me? Ah! Osaro, how? In the four, in the four, in the four, Edo had to move. Osaro, can you hear me now? Me? Okay, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me take you, Osaro. Epa, Epa. I greet you, get that. Uh, get that. Thank you. Steve, Sister PS, who did we want to have for why I believe? For the record, Lumi deals a go for a quarter of that stuff. And Lumi boy, all that stuff, bro. I'm a man, Dory, 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 I'm a man, this is it that I want to ask the question now for those that are not speaking, not Benin, that you are from a do state, please. Very sorry for taking that time. Guys, little things in Benin. It was just pleasantries and greetings. And those that are outside the states, the Lord bless you all. My only one question on them is very clear. Now, as a contestant on the Labour Party, and you are among this till now. The only thing when I get now is on that very day, because we could see, say, we know the year of APC for a do state now, and I'm meeting the day. Uh, so, on that very day of election, we now want what we see for Lagos, what we see for Rivers. Miss zero point five percent of it happen for obedient and Labour Party people for those states. We not go like 
ang abdicate ni Los. How that the no celebrity finish leave the security. How that the what it be the hope and the this one you get for everybody when they go free. Don't be scared. They go. They go with confidence. Now only now when I get to ask you for now. Take care. Sir. Uh, and uh, who we are who we are here to all your people out greet them for me uh, and i thank you for, for the question i would have loved to continue in bini but as you have noted in the bini language but as you have noted we have a wider audience and i thank you for your question and I'm really um, you know, they say 2024, no grief for anybody. But when they took out, I just said to myself, me never agree before one day. So, whether I try to, I never, I don't agree for anybody. And, uh, you know, I cannot agree. So, I have been able to demonstrate this matter to the process. First and foremost, Labour Party, the people are with us. So, that one is the first part of the equation. The people are with us. So we will just secure that one first. We will not take the people for granted. We will continue to send our message to them. They stay as we be, stay as we be. We are about you. Now we will not make us come out. Even as aspirants, even as aspirants, I have demonstrated to Labour Party in those days, say, now because of the people, now I come out. Other people, they carry their money, go serve uh, juju for the party. No. Me, anything I get, I don't give to the people. Even if now Christmas hamper, the last man, if they don't get another come out there, so we have to secure that the support of the people. Demonstrate to them that you are for them, you are about them, and the people they know they get sense, they are discerning, and so they know who they for them and who not they for them. That now why, if you follow our primaries, now be film trickle, I scored three hundred and sixteen out of the available three forty three delegate votes. Not be film trick. Now, simply because the people don't say this one, now our own, he is here for us. Our matter now matter. So that are the people. The one thing when the people ask me, we say the book party problem. They say, just support you, but you will protect our vote. Then I say, leave that matter. Leave that one for me. He get how now? Sure. He get how they do one. You go close mark the process. What do you about the people? You are not going to do that. We go close mark the process, and that's what the Labour Party primaries. The people prevailed as they choose delegate for field, and those that same delegate nine day degrees were come. Of course, the other people they try. People were not one better for 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 Nigeria. Bad head people they try. They want to try bring other lists. We block them. They're not fit. As you talk, we're not going to talk the way when we go do them. All I'm telling you is that we not the agree. I became president of the Nigeria Bar Association in 2020. We're not agree for that too. Uh, all the people don't talk say they will vote for me, but they call they, they ask, how will this thing be? We block out. We made sure that the will of the people prevailed. But it's not go different for this election when they come. Uh, and I'm not just around my mouth. Oh. We go block out. But you know what? Not be only I say we, what I talk, we not be only me. Oh. Uh, the voters in those states, everybody gets to shine their eyes. Too. Because uh, this matter, Barack Obama said democracy will flourish if we fight for it. We now go agree. And I've said it twice already. And for the election when they come, that's what it will be. Oh, yes, there are many stakeholder engagements that need to be done. You talk security just now. Oh, you don't want a part of the matter. Uh, nobody will come, come say, and I said, they snatch one ballot box. Who side? They demand. No, it will work. So, that's, that's, the, that's the much I can say. Um, I don't show my part one. My part two not go different like that. It will even be an improved version. Uh, so, so that much I can. You can take it to the bank that the will of the people must prevail. Uh, we're not going to come look at a bridge. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So, you know, when, when people were, were exchanging presentries, there was a, a word that caught my Attention, a via is via another via the inside. I don't know, I don't know what you were saying, no, but I know you meant to right. 
Sorry, Saddam. Is there anything you doing? When people are exchanging pleasantries with my Epa, people are there, uh, Vian, uh, Vian. So I said, I hope it's, it's, yes. it's, it's well for us here, right? You are, you are okay. safe. You are okay, safe. Okay, let's, let's, let's are go safe. with the conversation. Osaro? <laughs> Osaro, are you there? I did, yeah. I got land. I got land. Sit down. Ah, finally. Uh, yeah. uh, finally. One minute. One minute. Hurry up. Hurry up. I don't know what he said. I know that he had his parents. We are to Kyoba, Olumide, Osagbovo, Akpata, Domosa, Egwetpo. Eh, you say this one, sir. Oh. What to Baba? What to? What to? What for me? We are Westo. Hello, Baba. What to? Is it what to? What to? What to? What to? No more. Eh, the thing we say, he is a tourist. Because nobody they help them. I keep the small uh, we they call her Yobo. I keep the small Yobo. Um, I bought a car for the team secretaries. I I buy the secretary at John. That one not on that one. Uh, I bought twenty six thousand chairs, plastic chairs. I buy twenty six thousand because if you want to party, say you want to do a political party, there are certain things that must be in place. I reach there, not in place. I say, well, now here I do. I don't go anywhere. I don't pack my loan. I don't practice law. I'm here, so I'm ready to invest my time, my treasure, my talent into this matter. As a new party man, I contribute. I do. Yes, every local government secretary across the world, all of the number of 
to be scam. Because you know, we, Labour Party we mean business. We don't have to play. So I know that one. This one is just there. Give our members. So if that one, yes, that's why it is not me because I have shown that I have been to build the party. $1,000 not the base, so I know we don't know about that. So, everything uh, is still looking at the sort. Okay. Oh, the body, you know, you're not happy. Let me ask one more question from the comment section. I'm going to ask you a question. I don't have to give you a question. Your hands were. Let me ask you a question. My brother, Nana XA, says, let me ask you a question. The season is wrapped up in night. Yeah, it becomes it has become a society where thorns enjoy privileges. It has become the ground zero where donors become senators and buying laws receive contracts. And you pledge keep nepotism far from your government if you're elected. What are your thoughts on nepotism? Ne nepotism is the bane of our country now, or at least one of the many. You know, uh, I believe in merit. So I can commit to you here that uh, uh, it's not Olu and Sons Nigeria Limited. Oh, now we didn't enter. Oh. It, is, it is government based on merit. Uh, again, I, 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 I borrowed a, a page from, the, uh, from my Dr. Alex Oti. He told us when we were with him recently that all permanent secretary do exam. Before, that's all directors when they want to promote to permanent secretary. They do exam. So much so, say one Edo man when they stay up here, he pass. Now he get the highest score. They give a palm sec. Now Edo man, that's merit. Edo man, the boy, the, the gentleman has been in Abia from in youth service days to now. He do the exam, he pass. This is Dr. Ayotis' own testimony. And the guy became, has become a permanent secretary in Abia State. No, I can't do nepotism because at the end of the day, you suffer. You suffer for the, the consequences. So you go and put a square peg in a round hole because say now your brother or now your sister picking. No. Instead, I go they find my money, they give every month, say carry go chop. If not that one they find. Not to come and say, oh, come and sit down here because you are my brother. Come and take a position that you are not qualified for, you are not competent to uh, to administer. No, it's not gonna work. So I, I you see my generation, eh, eh, Saddam, my generation, we are we we are we are a tribe. It's it's, a, it's, it's meritocracy. We are, we are a tribe of uh, meritocrats. If you are not supposed to be there, not go there. You have no business being there. Not go there. They're not the manage for the matter. Because because what outcomes do you expect from that kind of situation when you put the wrong man on the job? At the end of the day, uh, now we go be those suffer for now because we will be the victims. So we will be the we will, we will be at the receiving end of the. 40 decisions or the uh, open person, you know, they make wrong decisions. Now we go suffer them at the end of the day. So it's in our enlightened self interest not to. So I promise you that uh, merit will be the other, you know, competence will be the other of the day in any government that I run. And I've demonstrated it in, you know, in every, everywhere I've been, in my law firm, at the NBA, and now I'm by the grace of God when we get to a government house. All right, thank you very much. Now, thank you very much. Okay, let, I think let me just have a follow up question, uh, then I'll, and then I'll circle down to you, uh, Jimmy. Um, wake up, wake up. A woken Niger youth says, Ask Olumide Apata, you say you are our guy. I am sure you are aware of the current zoning conversations online attempting to shake the obedient movement. How will you ensure that governance will be for all Edolites with no zone? excluded thank you uh, i missed the name of the the quest the gentleman but uh, wake up uh, wake up okay i bet you let me thank him mm -hmm. thank you for the question yes uh it's a big elephant in the room i i will be playing the ostrich if i say i don't know about the conversation concerning zoning so uh um uh I will run an inclusive government if I emerge as governor of uh, Edo State. That's the first thing. Inclusive government. I don't know tribe. Uh, I don't know tribe. And, and again, I belong to that generation that uh, I don't know tribe. Uh, there's one Nigeria, there's one I don't know tribe. So you can be sure that I will run an all inclusive government. 
And uh, even as an aspirant, I've demonstrated. When I told you just now, say I buy motor for, uh, I buy motor for Labour Party secretaries, and I say okay, buy for only uh, those South because now they're my people. They I across board. Anything I do is across board. Whatever resources we have will be distributed evenly across board, and whatever positions there are uh, in government, it will, it will ensure that all zones are uh, uh, are represented. Uh, in the distribution of, uh, of, of offices and, and uh, positions and all that. Having said, I will speak to the issue of zoning uh, and I, because, I, because I follow the conversation online and all of that, conversations online. And I know, and I know that many are not quite happy about the outcomes uh, uh, in the Edo State, uh, particularly the Labour Party. But I just say that the, the party decided to throw open the issue of uh, who will be its candidate, to throw it open to all parts of the state, because this is our first real outing uh, with regard to governorship of Edo State. And uh, the decision was taken that we will not circumscribe ourselves to any particular zone. And so it was thrown open, let the best man win, uh, uh, because uh, we just, they come, as Yoruba say, we just show, and if we now decide, say, okay, we will zone the thing to one side only, uh, we may lose out. We may, we may deprive ourselves of the opportunity of bringing a star performer. You know what I mean? And, uh, and uh, at the end of the day, lose the, we, we, might win the, we might win the battle, but uh, lose the war, as it were. So I understand the decision of the party. So at the end of the day, many of us ran. Uh, Edo Central ran, Edo North, and Edo South. And the people decided, the members of the party decided that I was the best candidate for this particular election. So, uh, haven't, that haven't happened. That happened. Ha that haven't happened. Uh, we 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 are now at a stage where we will go for the elections, and then when we go for the elections, Labour Party will now come out with its own pronouncements regarding zoning going forward, because uh, you cannot be on the outside and talk zoning when you never enter. So that was the thinking of the party, and I, 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 I don't, I don't quarrel with it. I see merit in that argument. Having said that, though, I recognize that uh, there are certain imbalances in the state that must be addressed, and I assure you that Labour Party will address the imbalances. Unlike the other parties who pay lip service to the issue of zoning and make and make it a convenient, uh, convenient conversation only when elections are around the corner. As the election finished now, come Saddam, come Edo, you will see everybody not go talk uh, zoning again. And indeed, has there ever really been zoning in all of these parties? Because really, really, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, they pay lip service to the issue. There are many, many imbalances that must be addressed. Not just only uh, in a, what you call it, uh, in one zone. You know, Akoko Edo, is the oldest one of the oldest local governments in Nigeria has remained the same one local government since 1963. Akukwedo, the Onwa people have complained also of marginalization. Edo Central have also complained. The Asian people, the Asian people. So Labour Party intends to come and address all of these issues when we are in government. We cannot do anything about it from the outside. So, which is why uh, uh, I can assure you that a Labour Party government will be inclusive, will be accommodating, will take into consideration the yearnings and aspirations of all parts of the state. And uh, and uh, and then, but more importantly, Saddam, if you let me conclude on this point, um, Labour Party will also demonstrate governance at a, at a level where people will understand that it just you don't need your brother to be in government house for you to receive dividends of democracy or benefits of governance. What we have is that uh, because of the way our devious, some of our devious politicians, not all of them, have uh, the way they perform, they, 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 they now make the people yearn for, for their own person to be in government so that it will be our turn, our turn. However, the Labour Party is not going to run government, uh, government like that. Whatever is available will be spread evenly. Each and man not go feel say okay because he not get a picking in person for government house. He not see they not do road for inside. So you go do road. Speaking of road, have you been to a do central recently to look to, to look for the kind of road when they there? 
Meanwhile, this Edo Center has had two ministers of works. Two, I mean three, self. They have had all sorts of uh, uh, high government officials. So it's not really about who who did it. It's about uh, uh, that person's uh, attitude to uh, uh, service delivery. So I commit, so that uh, my point is not missed in all of my rambling, and I ask you to forgive me. I commit to, uh, to ensuring inclusive government and uh, to dealing with any any perceived imbalances. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think that was very, very clear. Right now, uh, in Abia said, I don't know if they have not seen which zone Alex Oti is from. He, all they see is good governance. And I honestly, for myself, I say all the time, I always say that competence will always trump zoning. That is my two cents, just to add to that. All right, let me bring in, so let me bring in my friend and my brother. Tomorrow is his birthday. So I just want to, I just want to do pre-birthday. You have to do him pre-birthday, happy birthday first. And my paddy, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a, the, we are call him the, the punisher of the children of the roasted corn. And uh, he's here with us. Jimmy, let me bring you to the conversation now. <laughs> Happy birthday, my brother, advance. Um, please, you have the space to ask a question. Welcome. Thank you so much, Saddam. Thank you. Um, ah, uh, Your Excellency, because you're, you're already our governor. Um, I, I'm a Yoruba boy. I'm not from Edo State, but, uh, uh, so, um, I don't state is part of Nigeria. We need to take it the way it is. The last question was actually taken from the actual question I wanted to ask you. All protocols duly observed, everybody. I can see all the regulars here. So, um, I, I was going to ask of um, your insight because I've been asking this question and I've not actually gotten any specific answer. I was going to ask was, what is the genesis of this zoning? what is the importance of this zoning because you see this whole zoning thing it's a jinx that needs to be broken this 2024 we need to let people understand that it's not about where you come from because it has not benefited anyone since they've been doing that so if you can a little bit educate us on the genesis or the beginning of the reason why that you know a zoning thing started if you have any idea of that and lastly what it is that you possess that all the remaining candidates don't want. sell yourself to us let us know how outstanding you are and that will be what we will be capitalizing on that will be the basis at which we will be promoting you everywhere we go and spot thank you thank you very much you know me uh, uh Shigo, and uh, happy birthday in, in, in advance i wish you all the best and uh, i i pray for Long life and prosperity for you, and uh, in good health, uh, of uh, soundness of mind and body. Um, I think I alluded to to this, your first question. I alluded. I, I think I give some a background. This zoning business. Uh, well, I don't. I will not say I don't subscribe to affirmative action. Is the uh, affirmative action which zoning is an is a is a is a zoning is a, is a is an expression of affirmative action i, I think it, it starts from when there's perceived imbalance or there's there is a, so take uh, the black empowerment uh, program in, in south africa so after apartheid it was it was recognized that the black uh, south africans had been uh, has been uh, definitely uh, disadvantaged and so measures were taken to try and uh, fast track their growth and development in, the, in, in business and in the economy. That's what brought that about. In Australia, the aborigines uh, have also had their own, uh, their own uh, leapfrogging because of, uh, because of their disadvantages that they suffered. American Indians, same thing. So uh, that is where zoning comes from or affirmative action comes from when there's a perceived imbalance. I belong to a generation who went to uh, federal federal uh, secondary uh, federal school in uh, Nigeria, and we used to have. I went to King's College, but we had what they call quota system. That one too is some form of uh, affirmative action. We give succession to all equals uh, because you feel that one had had a had, had quite a fair deal at some point. If you remember, our brothers from the north, brothers and sisters from the north, in some states were considered to be educationally disadvantaged so therefore they got uh, they got they got uh, a lift um so bring us to states uh uh you say zoning uh because democracy is all about numbers 
uh, you find out that there's the possibility that uh, you could find only one group running uh, a state or a nation if some kind of steps are not taken to uh, create balance and create equi uh, and, and to provide to, to mediate. So that is how zoning uh, uh, showed up in our political lexicon. And, uh, and of course, it has been uh, abused by our politicians. Um, they, they underperform and then uh, take cover under zoning. They are not competent, but they take cover under zoning. And then, and those who get into office because they want to perpetuate themselves in power, uh, take all the take all the benefits to their own side of, of, of the fence, and make sure that they tar, even areas that don't need road, you tie the road there, sir. Anything that you just do it sir, so that uh, next time when you call your people, they'll say, "Yeah, this is our champion." So the people on the other side of the fence, the other zone, will say, "Well, even as so you do, I'm, and the next time we we'll go vote, put my own brother the inside, so that he can tie the roads on our own side." But all of this is. You and I know it's utter, it's utter crap because at the end of the day, uh, uh, it is just self-serving politicians who use this as a, as an excuse uh, to to keep themselves in power. They create division between amongst the people. You now see this unhealth, unhealthy rivalry. People are fighting because they believe that it is only when my own is there that I can benefit. So, the Labour Party, uh, I believe, and I am very, very, very certain. We'll, we'll turn things around, we'll change this narrative because, like uh, Saddam has said already, uh, 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 competence would always trump uh, zoning. And um, and uh, we as a people must must get up and say, this thing called zoning or this thing called affirmative action, the global standard is that it must have what they call a sunset clause. You don't zone in perpetuity. You don't zone, you don't do affirmative action in perpetuity. So when we are planning for zoning, we should also plan for an exit clause because we must at some point enthrone meritocracy and competence because sometimes zoning is antithetical to merit and uh, sometimes to merit and, uh, and uh, competence. So in my view, this is my own uh, take. This is how this zoning thing uh, started and has taken root in our in our political lexicon. Um, I hope I've answered your question. But the other question you raised, what's my unique my USP, my unique selling point? Um, I don't know if it's it, it may not be unique. There may be others like me, but definitely not in this particular race. Uh, I belong to the Labour Party, and we are for the people. That's number one. The people must be returned to the center of politics and governance in Nigeria. That is what I stand for. Uh, I also stand for prudence in government. Uh, I, I was, like I said, I was with Dr. Oti a few days ago, and we're talking about just how to run government in today's Nigeria. Uh, first and foremost, you must understand that the, 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 most of our problems arise from uh over bloated governments you know uh, uh, our problems run rise from the cost of governance in nigeria that's where dr oti is different he runs a lean government and that is what i'm that's what i'm that's what i'm uh, proposing run a lean government you know and and make sure that you get your priorities right i will be prudent Firstly, and I will prioritize properly. The people will be at the top of my priority. So projects, uh, policies will be people-centric, people-focused. So if you decide to take a private, as governor, you use private jets every every month, and you go to Abuja ten times a month. It's thirteen thousand dollars today to use a private jet to Abuja from Benin. If you use that one, go come, not be twenty-six thousand. But I gotta do the math. Something will give. Something has to give. If you use twenty-six thousand dollars to fly for one, which uh, is Green Africa, if you carry you go come just now, you use twenty-six thousand dollars to go and do that. That's what, probably a couple of primary schools that that will just go, but will, will just not happen. A couple of primary healthcare centers that will not happen because you know something will have to give. So I am for prudence in government. I am for lean government. I am for prioritizing the people. When I was president of the Nigerian Bar Association, I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a relatively small organization, but 
the principles are the same. We got, I got there, and you found, oh, oh, everybody's, uh, MBA, Nigerian Bar Association is broke. Oh, they are going to look for money from uh, governments. When MBA ordinarily should have no business going to ask any government for money. By the time I left there, I left 1.5 billion naira in the bank for the MBA because we had, we could afford it. We, and we ran all our programs, ran all our programs. We did not beg anybody. We did not stop donations. If you want to donate to us, donate to the, the association, but with no strings attached. We were able to run our programs, save money, and to the satisfaction of our members. It is the same principles. So my, my, what, what makes me different is that I am not going in there to uh, just write out my CV that I was governor. I am going in there to make a difference, to change the narrative, and we will apply best uh, practice, global best practice in the running of the state. So, uh, my dear brother, uh, birthday boy, I hope uh, I've been able to answer uh, uh, your two questions. You did perfectly. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. So, uh, you made an allegation on this platform, and you know, on this platform is called the violence is the home of facts and figures. Whatever you say on this platform is check, make you, we fact check you at the spot. You made an allegation on this platform. You said that there are signposts in the those states where they were, they, where you said this is a federal road. Please bear with the those state government. And I want to tell you authoritatively that you have been fact checked and you have been found to be saying the truth oh my goodness i am seeing signposts big big signposts what in 2024 car no pdp no wonder that didn't ah uh, no 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 wonder that they have reverted to tribalism and bigotry no wonder this is real i'm seeing it here this is a federal road please bear with the government the do state government ah. Saddam. So that you don't know, say my governor, they use helicopter for those states where you want to travel from me to Auchi. I heard they call him the helicopter governor. Now me call him, not be there. Oh. I'm not, now me call him. <laughs> now me call him, helicopter governor. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. All right, that's my question, Rudy. Um, it's, 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 it's insane, it's insane what's happening in governors in that state, a uh, great state. Let's, let's, let's ask four questions, please. All right, let me open up the space right now. Let me bring in Dr. Ohekena. Uh, Doctor, here can I please have the space in one minute, please, guys? Let's keep our Sadam. as short as possible. Mr. Steve, you want to say something? Yes, uh, just uh, uh, let me uh, crave your indulgence, guys. There's a tweet I posted on the jumbotron. In the spirit of obedience, now we have confirmed that our visitor on this space is an obedient. Uh, there's a tweet on the jumbotron that I, I just made yesterday. Please engage that tweet. I said, obedience operation adopt a local government. We need obedience people across the world. To choose a local government in a do state where your support group and your association will ensure that people hear that an obedient someone that believes in the people is running and uh, when you do that reach out to us on the dm uh, is on the jumbotron thank you very much adam thank you everyone thank you very much all right dr how can i have this in one minute please straight questions yeah. submissions. thank you yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, thank you, Ambassador. Um, good evening from my end and everybody in the house. Um, Barista Lumidi, good evening. Esse, Esse, sir. Hola, bon. I'll greet you, man. I'll greet you, man, on one language. Esse, sir. Yes, so, uh, my quick yes, question is, Esse, sir. My quick question is, um, the local government system in Nigeria is nothing to write home about. What will you do differently to give power and autonomy to this closest arm of government to the people. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Dr. Akena, uh, Dr. Oikena. Um, well, at least, thank God, uh, uh, I mean, I, I, I couldn't agree with you more. Uh, that is the government closest to the people. And in our typical fashion, we have bastardized that system. Uh, you go to America, and, and, and the, Amer the average American is more interested in who is, who is his mayor uh as against who is the governor of his state you know so but in nigeria uh, because the people are not important the people don't matter so that level of government or that tier of government that is closest to the people has been totally almost has been almost eroded uh go state governors just simply uh, uh, uh just simply uh just take over local government uh, local governments in their states 
and the fire and the higher as they will. Uh, in fact, uh, in Edo State on the 2nd of September last year, uh, the PDP government uh, claimed to have held the local government elections. Uh, it was a sham. Uh, that much I can say. Because again, the local they don't. It's not important. Nobody. Meanwhile, it is that level of that tier of government that takes care of the private healthcare centers we're talking about. That will take care of the markets. That will take care of uh, of, our, of our primary schools and all of that. The issues that are important to the people. So they have to wait for state government or from so government from state capital to deal with their issues. When ordinarily the system was designed for them to have a local government chairman to whom they can run to with their issues. But thankfully. There has been a constitutional amendment, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that uh, that is dealing with that issue, uh, and um, and um, definitely we will. Uh, I think we we'll see things will change in Nigeria by that singular uh, occurrence. Um, but having said that, even if there was no such uh, 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 change in our laws, as governor. It will be in my own interest to enable local governments. They are the, they are the government, like I said, closest to the people. I uh, have nothing to fear, nothing to lose. Why on earth would you want to eclipse that whole tier of government, which is what we see? I would enable local government system. I would work through them. I will not be a governor who will sit in the state capital. I will collaborate with the local government uh, chair, chairpersons to ensure that Government at that level is functional, is optimal, is operational, and uh, you know, you know what I mean. So, so, so that's that's why uh, uh, that's why I, I'm just I'm looking forward to that kind of collaboration because that is the easiest way for people to feel the presence of government. So, if we have local governments running optimally, uh, then 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 you will truly have a story to tell, truly, truly. So, so I think. Uh, it's a no-brainer, and um, uh, I feel really sad at the way local governments uh, in Nigeria have uh, have, have been uh, rendered almost uh, almost totally useless by state governments. Uh, hopefully, the the new state of affairs would uh, change. Uh, would change this. Thank you, Doctor Okano. All right, thank you very much. Please, guys, um, when you've asked questions, I have to drop you. Very much. And if you're up here and you want to ask questions, please ask to be up. Please, um, I'll drop every other person down right now, except our um, guests, so that we can bring more people. We have over, over hundreds of requests here. I want to bring in as much as uh, people as possible. Uh, Sadam, so let me drop so you can have more rooms. Let me drop. I'll come back. God bless you, my brother. Happy birthday in advance one more time. Thank you. All right, um, Omon. Please, in a minute, ask your question, please. All right. Good evening. Am I audible? Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, am I audible? Yeah, yeah, audible, sir. I can hear you, sir. Please ask your question. Go on, sir. Thank you very much, Adam. It's a great pleasure giving, uh, putting me on the audience to speak tonight. Uh, it's uh, 2022. I'll be an ardent listener of the violent space. I never requested for mic. I usually follow in the day, in the night, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, when Saturday was it on. So concerning this uh, subject, Olunide Akpata in the house, it's a pleasure speaking directly to him. I'm East and Southeast. I won't hear me. Which is the hometown of Aswe Odal. What I want to say is this as a faithful and loyal obedient, some of us we are tribal blind for quality, we are looking for capacity, we are looking for competence. Sentiments are all over. But there's one thing I want to draw the attention of Olumide and the several people that are listening here. Some of us in this opinion, uh, we are- Omar, Omar, please don't draw our attention. Please ask questions, please. I want okay. to ask questions, please. So okay. we have other questions. Thank you, bro. Some of us here, we are not helping the cause of Olumide. The reason being that 
some statement we are making online here is even provoking some of the supporters, including me. On Tuesday, I was on this place. I want Dr. Barry made a statement that. So, sorry, Omo, Omo. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll trash all this outside this space. Just ask Dr. Uh, Barry the question. Okay. Uh, Barista, I want to ask you because we know the book of Nigeria politics, tribal sentiment, religious sentiment, and all that. And if I want Dr. Barry that they will use the numbers. They have the number, they have this. So if you are elected as governor, as people like that are around you, what is the hope of those minorities in Edo State? Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. I will be Dr. Barry. I don't know, ma'am. The violence will be annoying. Okay, okay. So so I don't think you'll be around me. Uh, that's not why I decided not to So, um, <laughs> so over, over, uh, please, over, 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 please, over, please, yeah. Let me, let me, let me just answer for your behalf before you answer for you, please, because uh, we are on the spot. We are on the spot. Oh, man, my brother, um, it's good, it's good, it's good to have you here. It's good to know that you've been with us for over three years now on this platform. That's so your family, your family, right? So it's not as if saying, uh, we, you, you say the violence is the noise. You say we know her. We are together. Abby. Hey, Omon, are we not together again? Please answer me, Omon, please. Are we not together anymore? Omon, your mic is mute. Omon. I'm right here, full chest with you. Uh -huh. So now we win. Now we get our space now, B. Yes. Uh -huh. now, so if you say Dr. Barry, now we win, now we win. That one now we win discussion, eh? We will discuss up in Okay, so that one already concerned me. Our views has nothing to do with all of this. What I'm saying here is not falsehood. No, please, just don't take any views you hear on the violence. Please, has nothing to do with the man. The man just came here to have a conversation with me and you. Our views are not his views. Our views are not represent his campaign. It is important to understand this. Is that my brother here? Eh? Yeah, and for that So be very clear, when Dr. Barry said that, that uh, but uh, Salam, just uh, just to let Omar know that as 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 just saying don't the listening when we talk since, and I've said that uh, we Labour will we'll run an all inclusive government, and we are not uh, we are not here to outnumber anybody or to make anybody feel they are not part of a new state. Not possible. I don't know one. Uh, I don't know one. I, I am I am a, I'm a totally detribalized Nigerian. A totally detribalized Edo lights. I don't know one. I do. Uh, Edo Centre will feature prominently in any Labour government that I will I will be running. So you leave that side. No, no, let's not believe all those. Uh, you know, when they, they when people decide to heat up the policy, just just pour water on top of the matter, make it come down. Uh, you know, go. I don't. I, I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm not a, an ethnic uh, bigot, so I know they do all those kind of things. Oh, well, are you okay? Are you satisfied? I'm okay. I'm okay. Thank you. God bless all of you. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. God bless. We'll be back on Tuesday. Eh? Thank you. All right. Let's move on real quick. Um, let me bring in a lady right now, Valerie. Then I'll come to Harry. Harry. Yeah. <laughs> For Allah, don't come to this. All right. Let's go on. Uh, uh, Valerie, you have the space in one minute, please. Um, can you ask your questions to Mr. Olumi? Thank you, Emmy. I agree the house. Thank you, Olumide, for um, hosting us. So I hope nobody has asked this question, so I'll just keep it brief because I actually had network issues. So my number one question is, what do you think about people attacking obedience or people attacking people that want to vote for Labour Party candidates? And number two, and how can, how can, what can you do to like, to like advise us to, what can you do to advise us on how to like keep on being motivated about supporting who we believe is, is the um, best candidate. And number two, what can we do no, about please, reading? Please, please, one, please, just one question, eh? please, and just put all of them together. Eh? Okay, yes. And also, how how um are we going to feel like being discouraged every time we vote and there's always rigging of election? What can be done during the elections to stop rigging of elections and everything? Because we've decided to stay wait at our polling units and really like defend our votes but what can we do when um elections are always rigged how are people going to be motivated to keep voting for labor party candidates thank you 
Uh, thank you, Valerie. I think, like you said, uh, I think your second question, I think I've dealt with before now, which has to do with protecting the vote. Uh, you know, I, I, I alluded to this. Uh, in fact, I, I spoke to this directly before now, which is that after after we, we know that we have the people with us, the next thing is to, is to, is to, pro, to protect the process. And I, I quoted Barack Obama, who says that democracy will flourish only if we fight for it. So for me, on my own part, you can be sure that I will do all I need. I have demonstrated this before uh, at the Nigeria Bar Association elections. I demonstrated this before at the recent Edo State Labour Party primaries. The will of the people must prevail. And uh, what the people want, sure, we close mark the process. We not agree for anybody. But it's a we matter. It's not just me as a candidate, but it is us. Uh, you have talked about you know, getting discouraged uh, after uh, election uh, victories being stolen. We can't give up. Nobody said it to be easy. We can't give up. We must uh, must continue to uh, uh, um, stand firm. And uh, and uh, you can be sure on my part as a candidate, I will I will play my part effectively. Uh, there are stakeholders the stakeholders that we have to engage to ensure that the will of the people prevails. So. Uh, no dulling on my part, too. Uh, no dulling on my part at all. I will do all I can and need to do at my own end. But I will need you, Valerie, and the others who are voters in a, 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 in a dual state to ensure that uh, uh, we protect the votes uh, and that the will of the people will prevail. And uh, this is not just empty talk, uh, but uh, of course, we're not going to reveal all our strategies. But have, have it in mind. Know this. Uh, and no peace that uh, we we will protect the vote of the people the, the people's will will, pre will, 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 will will be allowed to prevail but your first question is one that has not been asked before my attitude to people attacking obedience and uh, those who vote for lp candidates i have zero tolerance for such rubbish you know and uh, um, i really cannot stand uh, that kind of behavior and uh, uh, in the in the gubernatorial elections in Lagos last year, it was something that was on full display, and I stood out to be counted, stood up to be counted. And I, I uh, when uh, when uh, our when our brothers and sisters from uh, from the eastern part of Nigeria were harassed, uh, were intimidated, were were in fact were humiliated. By their kids, their, by their, by their neighbors in Lagos, uh, because of the fact that they wanted to vote for a Labour Party government in Lagos State, I, I stood up. To, I wrote an article that I I, I, I published where I, I, it was titled "We Are All Evil," because for me I saw the danger in that kind of behavior. Because uh, I could have easily said no, I wasn't the one who was, I wasn't the butt of, or I wasn't the. I wasn't the victim at that point in time, so there was no need to complain. But you know, I'm sure you're aware of that uh, that saying that uh, if it may, it may, even if if it, it, it may not be you today, but tomorrow it may be you. So I I stood up to be counted because I have zero tolerance for that kind of uh, behavior, and uh, and uh, and uh, I I stood with my with my Igbo brothers and sisters on that occasion, and I I deprecated. That kind of behavior, I, I called the, the, the people out. I called my friends, my my friends who who said nothing, who did not speak up. I called them out because if we allow that kind of uh, intimidation, that kind of uh, molestation of Yashukudi, uh, and then uh, uh, so Yashukudi is not allowed to come out to vote because if she's not voting for one a particular party, how? That is totally unacceptable. It, it will happen in Lagos. It might happen tomorrow in another part of the country if we don't stop that kind of behavior. Uh, I've traveled around the world. I have seen what this kind of that kind of um, that kind of ethnic profiling, what it can do to a country, what it can do to a city. If you've been to Ireland, uh, if you've been to uh, Northern Ireland, uh, Northern Ireland, you will see that this is dangerous behavior that cannot be allowed to happen. So. Um, I, I, I stood up to be counted, and you can be sure that I will stand up again in the face of such a tyranny and in the face of such a, uh, intimidation and bullying of, uh, of any section of Nigeria.
All right. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well answered. All right. Let me run straight down to Harry. We have been here with Olumide for over um, extra time. We have, we have gone past second half. I have gone past extra time. And I think it's time. He has given us extra time. So we have over, uh, we have hundreds of people here. Um, on the team, they come down past hundreds. What did they have to? Uh, and it's not going down. It's not going down. It's People really want to ask you questions. My DMs are a mess. Um, the comment section, we have over 700 questions I want to be asked to you from Facebook, from YouTube. There are questions I want to be thrown to you. And we cannot ask all these questions now. I think you've covered so many major key and talking points. And I think um, you will have to make a commitment to us when you will come back again. Because these conversations are one that you should be having, I think, as often as possible. But let me run to Harry right now. Um, Harry... Um, is is did they did my honorable disappear? I don't. I think he has decided he he must have fallen off. Uh, but guys, um, um, the, this is um the violence piece, and you've been listening to Lumide Apata. Okay, he's back. Um, here with us for the past over two hours now he has been on the hot seat asking uh, um receiving questions answering questions from nigerians from edolite most especially from edolite so i will just run now to harry um harry is one man soldier sir. one man soldier, one man mopo one man mopo and he's here to ask you a question that has to bother with his state edu harry have the space my brother welcome in a minute please um good evening everybody <clears throat> thank you ms adam thank you everybody uh Epadomo. Um, as my mom say, oh, yo. you know, mm. um, I've been here and I've been listening to everything you've been saying. Uh, I want to say, um, I really like your confidence. You the yana, you the yana as I want here am, or as it be, or maybe not because as I want here, I'm sure uh -huh, maybe you don't already win one soft spot for my side, but soft spot aside, I want to just let you know, say, um. I don't want to make you explain too much because I don't already know, say, 60% you go to Dennis or Sadebe Avenue for Sept after September. But then, um, I, go, I go enjoy your presence if you come here, come explain, come talk to us. But then, besides that explanation, Epa, I go like make you show walkings, you know, because me, I like receipts where well, well. I know you like talk too much. Now, walkings might be my talk. So, that aside, I go ask you my question now. And my question be say, as a young as a person who grew up for Benin City or those states, um, Gelegele seaports and something will be like say na legend for most of us we be say we day young. And many of many people don't promise us, promise us, promise us. So if I my question, I don't want to make you promise me, just I want to make you tell me the truth as it be for your mind. If I, that Gelegele seaport, na legend or na something will be say go come to reality for our lifetime. Now don't have my question with that. Hello, Harry. Harry. Okay. The only matter when I divest for saying only one soft spot I get for yourself. You go make kind of like three now. No, as the day goes by, you go to plenty. Okay, you go to plenty. No, I, I can't be worried. You can't call me 60%. Self. That one. I'm I'm normally a better student. Anyway, I just did a joke. How your side, eh? Well, yeah. Yes, oh yes, sir. Oh yes, sir. Don't so me. speaking to your first issue, now show your walking. I be now be the only way. Uh, but I still get to call Yansha, Abi. When I still make a come, so I get to show, I get to I be not be for here, we'll go show the walking now. The only walking when I be shown now my antecedents, which I don't do for other places. Uh, as I tell run MBA, as I tell run my own law firm. Because really, really, the principles are the same. It's management of men and men and resources, uh, uh, men and material. And uh, ability, how do you, what are your priorities? Uh, what do you want to do? Small money went in your hand, how you go share them? It's the same principle. And I don't, at least then I'll be working when I don't show. But hey, once you vote for me and put me inside there, so they will be you, I go show you my working now. I'm not, I'm not sent. Harry, I'm not sent. Uh, I'm not here for self. I'm not, I'm here. Now, legacy will you look. Now, future of our country will you look. Uh, there are still some of us where Sabi where Sabi walk. Uh, now the, the country never spoil rich where we're not gonna see good people again. Some of us see the and I'm sure you are one of them. Uh Gele Gele Seaport, uh, you know, you know say uh this dark matter uh, 
you know, just like you now, we don't hear a hear a hear a hear. Is he welcome to want on to uh, uh, story story? So, but I'm very attracted to the idea of the seaport, and uh, uh, now something when I would like to study closely because that kind of thing ordinarily supposed to open up our our, our space, our economy. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to tell you. Say I can give you all the all the data right now, or all the specifics. But now something when I go look closely because I know I know the multiplier effect of this of, of a seaport of that nature. Uh, I have a, I have people when I respect when they serve on the committee and they, they any time I ask the guy they call them and they phone them say this is go work and they seem to reassure me say uh, the plan is a good plan so I'm not going to talk say because uh, uh, I they, I they compete against the government in power I go just concern and nonsense no but I really have to do my studying and, and uh, do my due diligence uh, like I said I get people when they the committee and I they ask that they put them under pressure because the matter don't want to take, you know. Uh, may not call BC and a voice may matter, we don't enter. So, but hey, uh, they know they don't finish. I I really I wish it would be a good um viable project because it will endure to the uh, the benefit that will come out of it will endure to all the people. So now that one, so that, now that one now they are fit on the matter rich. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very Take much. Care, my brother. Not only to talk with that. Thank you very All much. All right. Thank you very much. And from from behind from behind the Gilegele support, they don't drag my back, they drag my leg. See, Oga has to go, Oga has to leave, and he has been here for an extra um 45 minutes. And honestly, sir, we don't take it for granted. For us on this platform, we know how important these conversations are and how much you need to really sell yourself to the people. Um, but at the same time, we also understand that time is money. And we know that there are people behind the scenes that really need to have you right now. So I think, um, we are guys, we cannot go any further. For him, you want to stay going forward. But there are people behind that really need to take him off the space right now. And he has given us his first um, three, uh, close to three hours now. So, but I have like one, two, three, four, five hands up here. I want to ask you a question already. Should I allow these five people to ask questions once, or do you want to go now? Let me put you on the spot. Saran, I made the talk. Yes, sir. What, what was your question? I'm so sorry. I said you are. I'm about to tell. I'm about to exit you from the space. But I have like one, two, three. You want drive five. me? No, you know, people wait there from back. They say they want. They want drag. They, they drag me as I say. As you want them, but then they say you have to leave. You have to leave. So you know, as all these things they be. Um, make tomorrow when I say, Oh, yeah, I'll guy, they come again. They say, That one will give you how many hours you can't do for, for Basabi. You know, we'll come with you. No, so I'm trying to respect the fact that we have a time frame with you on this platform, and we have gone like an hour above what we are we, we planned with you. Can do you can you just give us the, the, the um, the honors of answering all the people that are up here with you, or you can say exit if you say an exit, we we'll all accept the fact that you have done exit exceedingly well today but if you can say okay let me just ask answer all these people up here you don't do extra that's now this 500 with the sister on abi and uh, also already open with the hands up here like this i'm gonna take them i beg now you know we're good now before yeah, i start to depend them okay 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 thank you very much sir thank you i hope then they, 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 your people leave and the team behind the scene gele, gele team stop sending me message i i it is not my i say i want to i want to pursue him he say you want to stay please Stop messaging me, eh? Thank you. Let me start with my uh, Ami book. Uh, I'll end, end my Ami book host. Let me start with um, Madam. Uh, Madam, I want to hear NC's question. Oh, NC, I beg, give no, us question now. NC is not going to answer question today. And next time, NC is not going to answer question. You want to answer? You know, that's the question. You know, say where they come from. Facts and figures, Google. No, please. And uh, your obedience. Your obedience. Uh, please ask your question, please. What's the mingo area? Hey, I'm sorry, my girl. Hey, my mom. Well done. Uh, <laughs> when you mention me, okay, I'll be fast, chap. I need to talk this one in chambers and one, one minute, people are the minute, good play. Well. No worry, I'm not rich one minute. You in chambers now, we are the good play. It's more when we near worry club. Yeah, that, so, that's um, my office now. Now, then we do. Now, then we do now for Dr. Ojo. 
Okay, quickly, uh, my, 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 my top question is, is for uh, Mr. Srigadzin. Not really a question, but a, 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 and this is about um, dissent, dissent, dissent voices in the Labour Party right now. That may, uh, some are using the excuse of um, zoning as their problem. Some are genuinely feeling zoning is their problem. Hope their plans to get them back in the fold because the next thing they are causing a lot of, making it very difficult to campaign. So I hope you have plans to get them back in the fold. That's the question. Thank you, my brother. I'm most grateful and always, always glad to speak with a, a fellow worry, a, a worry, a worry boy, or uh, full wafi. Well, you know, full wafi, Nabi. I be full wafi, but like you, the way you take come my side, come pen, I not take pen for your side. I did been correct. twenty years plus. Correct, correct, correct. Not bad. Now we will. So anyhow, so yes, um, um, we must, we must. We must uh, heal the wounds. We must bridge the divide. Um, uh, I can understand. Uh, but what, what we must not allow, you know, because quarrel day where two different kind of quarrel deal. There's the quarrel of uh, a diverse because I've been offended. There's the quarrel of uh, a diverse because they say they, uh, we didn't listen to people when not like us. They could not listen to people when one scatter us too. So if I am to say anything, I go say no. Maybe we check out the people when they call talk inside why here. They call they tell us say this one do one thing, do two thing. What what it be their motive? What are they trying to achieve? They want scatter this thing because they want to use the excuse of uh, oh they don't give us zoning. Let us be careful. However, efforts must be made. We will call everybody. Say see, even if now so the thing happened now, steps will be taken to uh, correct. Whatever anomalies, whatever aberration we see for the setting, we must give that assurance. We must give that comfort to our people. Uh, obedience, Edo lights, those from Edo Central, we must let them know, say, not be say, uh, it's not a winner takes all kind of thing. Uh, you know, one person must win. So, uh, as one person don't win now, we will say, okay, next, uh, uh, next step, what will be next step? I want to correct this matter. You understand what I'm saying? So, uh, at least on my own part, oh, I'm speaking to the leaders of the party that the same sentiment me they see uh, as far as labor is concerned. And with regard to obedience here, uh, and the obedience and uh, all of the stuff going on uh, here, I'm sure that uh, I definitely, anything when we do to put hand inside the matter, to bring everybody back under the same umbrella. Well, I don't want to use umbrella, not the umbrella. Everybody under the same fold ahead. So I will definitely do, do my part. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All no, right. I beg, I beg, bring them other Papa Mama picking. <laughs> eh, not the umbrella, I'm not a beg. All we, right, don't need we don't need room. We don't need room to. <laughs> real quick, you have this serious question, please. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, sir. Um, um, it's an honor having you on the on the platform thank you very much for for being with us today my name is kelvin Ibo J. i'm from Owa east Owa. yeah my question is actually to but I'm, I'm i'm gonna rope them into one like rope them into one quickly um i believe uh the reason why many of us have found ourselves in this peculiar time this this period this uh gathering is because of one man who who we actually look up to who we who like brought this movement? Who 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 is like the the focal point of this movement, which is uh, my principal, uh, Mr. Peter Obi. Now, uh, I want to know, just in one in one sentence, I just want to know, sir, what is the core message of your campaign, and how do you intend to use it to excite the voters in Edo State? Because, sir, trust me. The voter apathy in Edo State right now is is uh, is beyond what people are actually what people are what people are actually uh, 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 thinking of. The people can't you can't really people a lot of people are not really happy about the political setting in Edo State. A local government election was conducted; it was a sham. The 2023 election, people were disappointed. In my polling units, I had people who were destroying their voters' card. So, but the only thing I know, the one thing I know is that that kind of excitement that Peter Obi's personality brought, that kind of, uh, that the way he, he sold himself to the people, the, the message was passing across. Question, please, question, please. 
yeah, I, I think I think he gets he gets what I'm saying. So that what is the core message of your campaign, and how do you intend to use it to excite the voters? Thank you very much, Sadam. Thank you. So um um, I think uh the fact that I personally stand for the people first, I think that's the first thing uh, I'm putting forward. It is about the people. And I'm not just saying this in a, in a vacuum. Uh, that message has already been passed on to members of the Labour Party and they are excited that it is about them, that we are here because of them and that our policies will be directed at them. And they have also, and so they have, I've mentioned this before already, and they, and they, and they supported me. But they supported on one condition, which is the point you have alluded to, that we will work to protect their vote and ensure that their votes count. So, and we have said that that will be done, that we will work to protect the vote. We will do what we need to do. We will pull all the stops to ensure that their votes are protected. So, they, they, the first thing is the people are, are the most important thing to us in Labour Party. Papa, Mama, Pekin. All our policies will take root from that, will take off from that point. It is about the people, what is most important to the, gener the majority of the people. But then, we are not just going to uh, come and speak uh, grammar. We are going to ensure that we do the work. We pound the streets, we protect the votes, we call out the stakeholders, ensure that uh, 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 it will not be it will not be a situation of a monkey walk, a babu chop. No, we will ensure that the people go out, but and it is what they want that we, we, we will uh, will prevail. So um, um, I don't know how what else we uh, I can say to this point because like. Uh, uh, one of uh, my brothers said, "It's a matter. It's really a matter of show you're working. You know, uh, after a while, uh, the people begin to say talk is cheap. You know what I mean? So, I'm so I'm a bit, I'm a bit hesitant to keep on rambling on the point. Uh, the Bible says, by their fruits you shall know them. So, I think uh, time will tell whether or not, uh, uh, as I did talk on Aswa Goduam, if you know what I mean. Thank you." Thank you very much. I think that was straight to the point. All right, let's go to Nosa. Nos Stefan Egbon, please have this space in one minute, please. Question, please. Go to your question. One minute, please. Thank you so much, Saddam, and all protocols do you observe. Um, sir, Olumide, I have a question that uh, I want to ask. But first, someone mentioned about unique quality. But I believe, because I grew up in Benin, so I believe compassion and kindness to the Edo people should be that unique skill or that unique soft skill you should have towards us. Because if you are compassionate about the people, you would want to make things work out for us. So I beg you in the name of God and in the name of our ancestors, please make Edo work. So my question is, what is your plan towards tourism, culture and education? Because you see people say it's going to scam. Majority of them being Benin boys, we, I, I grew, up, grew up in Benin and stuff. So I want to know what your contribution towards education would be because we want want to see an Edo where the Edo lights are, are reasonable. We know what we are doing. We're focused and all that. So what is your your contribution going to be towards culture, tourism, and education? I mean, Edo State is a place of culture. We all know that. We know our we know our culture. Thank you, we thank you, stuff. thank you, thank you, Nosa. Thank you. So question on what is your Position on education, culture, tourism. Please, real quick, sir. Thank you. Okay, so with regard to culture, culture is a unique selling point. But before I, uh, let me quickly go, no, sir. Uh, you talked about compassion. I already mentioned that. I think that is one missing, uh, that's something that's missing in the government of the day. No compassion, no empathy. They don't really get it. You know what I mean? What the people want is not important to them. That is what I bring to the table. I am about the people. So, compassion, empathy, definitely uh, my strong points. Uh, culture, unique selling point for Edo State. Uh, so the whole, the plan is to build, uh, to build, uh, build up the sector. Uh, uh, but firstly, uh, security is critical. Uh, culture and tourism will only thrive in a secure environment. I not go do tourism for where, uh, I not go carry to my leg. Go do tourism for where they will call, call me or call me or tag me for for junction. So 
uh, what I what I will not do, what I will not do, I will not expect another man to do. So uh, uh, we will have to fix our security architecture first, which I've, I've already spoken to that point before we now start looking at culture and tourism. So uh, the way to go about culture and tourism is to build a value chain. Uh, you have to build the, you have to grow the sector. You have to develop uh, those areas of a unique comprehensive advantage that we have in the sector. You have to train people. Uh, so because it's a service sector, it's a, it's a whole, it's a, it's a whole uh, value chain. You have to train people in the skills that are required for that sector from tour guides, even just tour guides alone. That's an industry by itself. I don't know if you've gone on pilgrimages before. You find that there's a whole industry, people who are trained uh, to be tour guides, to to talk about us, uh, to, help, to to guide the tourists when they come, as the name suggests. Uh, uh, hotels, uh, recreational centers, uh, all of those things. Government would have to be a player in the sector. Government would have to uh, invest in the sector. And they can pull out later. But there's no doubt that uh, the initial uh, outlay would have to be borne by government to a, to a large uh, extent. But like I said, it's a whole value chain, uh, training people, providing uh, uh, opportunities for them to, to, to acquire skills in the sector, and then look for those unique selling points around the state. Uh, look at us. I don't know if you've been to Ososo. Uh, of course, you know Igun Street in Benin. Ososo is in uh, Akuku Edo. Is, I think it's more beautiful than Cape Town. So if we get security right, we can harness all of these resources or all of this potential and get people come to come back to to visit us again, like used to be the case. Uh, just even just the the whole BD traditional system. I tell you that the rest of the country is intrigued just by the fact of our of our royal house that is one thousand years old system of primogeniture primogeniture, father to son, unbroken for what? Over 600 years. Uh, and, 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 and the fact that we have maintained our traditional institutions, that by itself is a selling point. It is, it is, it is, a, is a crowd puller if we're able to harness all of that. I remain extremely proud to call myself a Bini man and, and, a, and a loyal subject of His Royal Majesty, Omanobanedo. With regard to education, um, uh, I mentioned the fact that I re rehabilitated, or oh, sorry, I uh, renovated a school in uh, in Ewato, in Edo uh, State. I did that because it was extremely important for me to demonstrate that top on my priority would be education uh, priority list. I mean, it is, uh, it, and uh, anything else would be a distant second. It is so important. Just not just education. This is we're talking about human capital development. We have to develop our people. Because it is our people that will that are our greatest resource. So we have uh, we have to do a total revamp of our system of education. We have to look into what are into our curricula. What are we teaching our students today? Are they able to compete with their peers in other parts of the world? So for me, education it goes beyond brick and mortar. So you fix the brick and mortar issues. What about the soft issues? What about teacher training? We have, so, I mean, you can have uh, all the desks you want, but if there are no teachers to teach the students, it's a non-starter. So teacher training is critical. Teacher welfare is critical. Uh, teacher remuneration is critical because they are the ones who are, who, are, who are, they are the key, they are the key personnel in this sector, the teachers. So thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let you, you, sir, you have done enough justice, please, please. So I will just wrap up this, um, this set of speakers, please. Thank you, sir. You have answered that question very well. If you if, no, sir, go and start this place afresh. Talk about education before. And please, if you know any question you have asked answered before, please don't ask that question also. Please, so we can wrap up this question as an answer right now, please. Uh, how about John? You have the you have the space in one minute, please. Ask your question straight to the question, please. Thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you for having me up here. Uh, thank you, Emmy Astadam. Uh, my name is Albert Johnson, and I'm from uh, Akokwedo local government. Um, earlier on, you you mentioned about uh, Akokwedo being one of the oldest local government in Nigeria, and it always seemed that um, we are being abandoned. There's no government presence in Akokwedo. Uh, you also mentioned about Ososo earlier on, and I'm from Somorika, similar to Ososo. 
there's a lot of potential out there but so what are your plans for the people of Akokwedo? uh uh thank you for for this thank you for an opportunity to ask this question thank you albert i'm really grateful so as quickly as possible i hate injustice i cannot stand when uh when a, an aberration is allowed to perpetrate itself, uh, there's no doubt that as long as it's within my power and ability, if I am governor, first and foremost, we must create uh, uh, we must create more local governments out of that area. It's just it's just it's just not fair. It's totally unfair, and uh, I, that, that, that much I will champion to the extent that I'm able to uh, influence the process. And then uh, apart from that, yeah, you're, you're right. There's just so much. I just noticed uh, that uh, that part of the state. I have good friends from Ososo. Uh, His Royal Majesty is uh, is also a good friend of mine, the new uh, the new king of uh, of Ososo, and uh, uh, so I tend to go there now and again. And I I, tell, I noticed that uh, it's just quite right about uh, the neglect that I seem to uh, notice uh, that I seem to experience there. So. You can be sure that it will, uh, Akukwadu will be on top of my priority list with regard to ensuring that we have uh, equitable distribution of our resources in that direction. I don't know. Maybe somebody can tell me what exactly is the problem. I don't know, but there's something not quite right about the way things are. Things are. Things are. And you can be sure that we will help to boost the economy of the area. Tourism will flourish in that in in that area. I know that for a fact. I know that the the, East America, the, the hills that the Samarica hills that you mentioned, the Samarica, uh, there used to be a resort, or at least there was some some uh, very scenic resort in Ososo many uh, years ago. I don't know if it's still in existence that uh, would attract tourists easily. Uh, uh, but there's a lot of work that needs to be done. Uh, the road network is 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 is, is, is a disaster, and I, and I couldn't help. Uh, laughing when I, I was driving to a gala one day on a really horrible road and I saw road safety personnel standing there and I was just wondering what road are they what road are they uh, superintending there's no road so I guess they just added to the nightmare so they are there fleecing fleecing bike men and fleecing uh, fleecing uh, transporters on a road that is already a nightmare to even uh, navigate so uh, Albert uh, you have my you have I always give the example of Akokwedo because I know it's the problem that we must uh, resolve. So I thank you. Thank, thank you very much. All right, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mike. Please, in 30 seconds, your question, please. Thank you. Yeah, you'll be giving everybody one minute. Okay, I'll just be, I'll be very brief. Epadomo, my name is Michael Gwede, uh, President and CEO Michael Powers. Uh, we into defense security and policy. Um, I just want to ask this question of, you know, on behalf of the private sector where I belong. Uh, if we send you anything, um, regard uh, the security support and project finance, will that take weeks or will it take months for you to basically uh, respond to? Because, you know, as an executive, uh, you will be making executive decision and you will agree with me uh, that speed in itself is efficiency. Thank you. Well, sir, Tim, thank you so much. Um, I, I, come from, I come from a world where, where you must be nimble, you must be quick. Uh, you cannot let the perfect be the enemy of the good. So I'm not going to wait for anything to to crystallize into into a, a perfection before we start to deal with it. And uh, I believe in ideas. I believe in the superiority of ideas. So whatever you send to us, we will we will look at. Uh, anything security is music to my ears because you know that that is a real challenge uh, for uh, for our state. Security is critical, and any any solutions will be thoroughly interrogated, thoroughly reviewed, and uh, applied where we find that uh, there is a right fit. Uh, project finance—that uh, is the world I come from. I have always I've been a lawyer in that space, and I know that uh, I know that it is something that uh, we are going to need plenty of. Uh, project financing is something that we will need partners to come work with us on, on the various projects in the various sectors that we're looking at. So short answer to your question, you can be sure that uh, you will definitely have my attention and uh, I will be swift, very swift in responding to any value adding uh, suggestions that you will uh, bring to the table. So where's the Kakabo Koyo? Thank, Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. All right, well, Niger, please, if you can do it in 30 seconds. Please. Yeah, I mean, 
Yeah, thank you very much, Sadaf. I mean, mine, mine is, um, so I, I, I wouldn't want to stress the barista I don't think you asked to answer my question today. Um, I think mine is um, more like, you know, first an advice, then secondly, a question I doesn't really need to answer now. Um, first, the advice is just to portray what Kevin has said earlier. I think what Kevin was trying to say is really pretty much of an advice. A barista, you need to be in people's faces. There's, as in, you need to, um, I, I, and I trust you can do that see what you did in the primary um put being people's faces like i i heard you earlier in the space said we're going to do vlog I, I, I was just saying when you said i was like i hope in that process you pop out in places unexpected expected let really really just need to be in people's faces so that people can be excited just the same way people were excited before peter will be now the question is really for me for those state election i'm looking for specificity as much as possible I know there's tendency for people to, for everybody to say, okay, I'll do security, I'll do this, I'll do that. I really just want to say, uh, ask this, and maybe the next time I, you may come on space or your manifesto, that's where I'll get the answer. I really would wish or appeal that you be specific about, you know, you always talk about what the people need, about what you think the people need. Personally, I mean, if you ask me, I'm going to say power and infrastructure, but at least two things. And be as much as possible specific. So, if, for example, you are going to say, when I become governor, fifty percent of Edo State or this particular city, this particular city is going to have two four seven electricity, so that I can hold you. Like I can say, you said it specifically, rather than if I hear, okay, you said I'll, I've done what power solved and all that. So, just that specificity. But I know, you know, you are not a typical politician that have punch lines. Um, by the time you do your survey and know what is obtainable. Uh, you can start and come to specificity, but I'm really hoping that the next time we, we hear from you, I'm going to ask this question again whenever I get the chance to speak to you. But I wanted to ask it now so that you can have the time to go and review. And I wanted to also ask it last so that it will also be on your mind things that you intend to do as specific as possible. So that's really it. Thank you, my bro. Um, yeah, I, I do intend to be in people's faces. In fact, they will tire for me. Um, we we are going to show up uh we i don't intend to sit down in benin uh, to run a campaign uh the first month in, in, right after in a couple of weeks i'm going to start another tour of the state uh, and i call it a needs assessment tour i'm just going to find out uh in in, in greater detail what it is that uh, people are yearning for uh, because these things are dynamic uh, nothing is uh, nothing is static so what may have been an issue last year probably is not an issue this year. So definitely I will be going around. I will share my experiences with uh, you. Um, I'll definitely, with you guys, I'll definitely come back here at some point. Uh, specificity. Um, of course, we can't drop everything on the table in one day, but I think I mentioned in the course of this uh, uh, interaction that uh, take primary healthcare centers, for example. We are going to establish primary healthcare centers no adult person would need to go beyond a five-minute walk. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, let me not say five, a five-minute drive to get to a primary health care center. That, for me, is my desire. Uh, definitely power is, for me, um, first on my list is indeed power. Uh, I've, been, I've been in electricity law for a while now. Uh, I understand the system, how it works. And you and I know the multiplier effect that power has on any economy. Thank goodness, uh, state governments can generate power on their own now. So we are going to be on the lookout for investors to ensure that we have, uh, look at the Azura project, which by the way, I was I was fortunate to be a lawyer on that project, the Azura project in Edo State. That project is taking, uh, is, is responsible for about 10% of all the all what you have on the national grid. Now that states can generate their own power, that power will be directed. That kind of power, if you have that kind of project, will direct the power to a do direct to a people. So um, yeah, I'm happy you mentioned that some of these issues will show up in our manifesto. I promise you that will definitely be the case, uh, and we we will we will make specific commitment uh, after we have done more of a deep dive, you know, and uh, done. Uh, Done extensive needs assessment so that I can I can come up with the kind of specificity that you require, so you can hold me to my uh, commitment. 
So I hope uh, I hope that works. Perfect. Yeah, we do. Perfect. I hope. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Lumide. Thank you, guys. You have come to the end of um, today's um, one on one with Olumide Apata. We'll be having a reaction probably for the next few minutes uh, after the space. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Olumide. Thank you, my fellow co hosts, my fellow um, speakers, those that did not get a chance to ask him questions today. Um, definitely, he's going to make a commitment on when he will be back here with us. He will have this time to ask me a question again. We have. We have he has done for me he has done exceedingly well he has come way about this time and i know the repercussion will not come on my head and i know good day when they go they knock me out back off for back but i mean the collector when i see say my voice don't change abi and because of what they tell me for back my voice don't change uh -huh. but thank you very much sir. so i will just give you like a minute or two to give us a parting word mm -hmm. extreme people that have been here listening to you all for the past couple of hours please sir. thank you thank you saddam uh thank you for fact checking me so you see, another talk line, and uh, so there's now uh, we have established trust. Um, I'm extremely grateful to Violet Space and all the participants for allowing me uh, come in your midst today and to share with you my thoughts on a variety of subjects. Uh, it is with me that I have you well. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's an engagement that I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed. Um, we can't give up on Nigeria. We're not going to fit. It's not an option. Uh, and uh, I, I, I tell you this: when you think of anybody, when you try to list those when don't, when they commit and say this Nigeria matter, we're not going to agree. We're not going to let them go. Just count my write my name there. You will see uh, by the grace of God when we get to Osadebe Avenue. Call me. All this is you, you we are recorded now. You just do checklists, and I will tick all the boxes by the grace of God. So I thank you for the opportunity. Uh, thank you for the good wishes. Um, may the good Lord uh, bless uh, all of us. May he reward our efforts with phenomenal success. And uh, I pray, I hope uh, to see those of you who can vote in a door to come, please. And uh, every vote counts. Every vote definitely counts. And those of you who are influencers, who have people at home in a door state, talk to your people. We are at the cusp of change. We are at the cusp of phenomenal change in Edo State. And uh, things are about to take a turn for the better. So let us all be uh, part of that, uh, part of the solution, instead of whining about the problem. I uh, thank you, Sadam. Thank you very much. Now, please, people are already asking me also, how can they support your campaign? So please, if you can also provide your campaign details, um, also we'll be putting up on social media, post it up on your page so that people can go there and donate. Because on the obedience on this platform, I tell you, we fund candidates. We don't collect money from candidates. We give candidates money that we believe on. We believe in. So please provide that on your your Twitter handle. Obedience people like my DMs that want to support your campaign, that believe in your in your in, in what they have heard from you tonight, and hopefully is the beginning of a process for you. Thank you so much for honoring us tonight. We hopefully we're going to see you again and again and again. <laughs> give us your time. God bless you. All right, guys, thank you very, very much. Um, I think what we have done for today, thank you guys, all of you. I think. We might just we have a reaction. Well, in Nigeria, what do you think? Um, yeah, 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 maybe we can just do the twelve. I think it's fine. Yeah. All right, should we should we just uh, let's 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 take reaction from people and um, down there. So, well, and please bring up speakers. Let's have a reaction on on the space. Thank you, guys. Yeah, very very quick. I think I should apologize to. I mean, the request um, is overwhelming, and I know you know everybody wants to always speak. Uh, please, apologies if we couldn't bring you up. Even your questions on the. Uh, the comment section. I'm, I'm sure sometime um, himself probably will come around. These people come on social media. So we'll just take reaction. One minute, just say what you think. It's not a new submission or something. One minute, say what you think and, you know, just take as many. Maybe in the next 20 minutes, we can get 20 people. It's very good for us. I'm going to start from uh, Mommy B. Mommy B came back up. Uh, uh, then after which, we, you know, yeah, pairs are closed. Official closed to the meet. I said, Monaco, what I do today? So everybody that came to my DM, my DM is also in Madhouse. 
sorry, I, I can't, I'm not losing my DM, so uh, let's just quickly get reaction. One minute, or maybe go ahead. Um, thank you, one minute, Nigeria. I was really impressed. Um, obviously, um, you know, some people have it and some people don't, and he has it. He, I mean, very cerebral. I mean, it's the first, second time I've heard him speak. Um, he answered the question. He's not trying to get out of answering a question, you know, and, and you can see that his questions are well thought out. The, the answers are well thought out, you know, not insensitive in any way. Um, no, he, he, he first time on Spaces is a good showing. It's a really, really, really good showing. And I'm really hoping that people haven't heard him. And I'm sure he'll come back again because you can tell that even though, <laughs> even though we're back on, back on the shop, they're telling him he needs to leave. The man just was enjoying himself. He was in his element. But, you know, and that, that always bodes well. Somebody who wants that engagement with with um the public right is always a good sign you know i mean i can't wait to see his manifesto i can't wait for him to come back again you know undo the rounds and so that people can hear him um speak hear you know the the core of who he is you know i'm glad that he has said he's obedient and i'm glad that he has clarified um, the the mindset of Labour Party in choosing to open up um, um, the the primaries to everybody because yeah. I feel like they have chosen the right person. Uh, thank you, I yield. All right, thank you very much, Mommy. I totally agree with you. And this is coming. I mean, um, I, I've told people that ask me that, uh, but I just said election. I'm I'm very not sentimental, so. Yeah, you're totally on point. That was that was that was a good one. Um quickly I'll, okay, take Mr. Steve, then also I'd like to hear from Pearls as well. Then thank, thank you. Because of time. Thank you everyone. Great space. I've really enjoyed myself. I just wanted to uh, kind of uh, Saddam, please I would uh, I would need you to also speak to this and thanks Miss Pearls is here. Sarah is here, everybody's here. So please, my thinking is what we did in twenty twenty three as obedience away from the party away from peter i was not part of the ob campaign i had a support group save nigerian group usa which we used to campaign across the 36 states those structures are still there now we are focusing on edo immediately this uh, gentleman emerged i followed the process and it was free fair and credible guaranteed i was there i said we'll do what we did for PO across the country to I've been reaching out to every obedient. I don't leave it for Edo people. Let all of us descend our weight on Edo to make sure this election is not closed. By doing so, I started my spaces again, PO Town Square, start mobilizing. And I've uh, tweeted on this Jumbotron that obedience should, the same way we had obedience adopting local government across northern Nigeria, come and adopt a local government. If it's too big for your group, adopt a ward. If the ward is too big for you, adopt a polling unit. What are we saying? We want canvassers in each polling unit for the candidates, for the Labour Party, and everything we've had on space so that people will know on the ground. To do that, we would need to work as support groups, the same structures. But somebody went to the comment section on that tweet. I said, no, 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 no. We shouldn't do any of this. We should just wait for the candidates. I said, how did we win a presidential election that Mahmoud Yakubu took from us? Is it by waiting and doing nothing? So, Sadam, maybe you should speak to this because this is a very, very important part. As obedience, are we to just sit down and be waiting for Day to do everything? Or we should activate our support groups, get working, do our bit, and be transparent because, of course, some people have been accused in the movement. Because I don't like to sit back. There are people on the ground, people have already started coming up to say, okay, we want to uh, do one million match. So, uh, Magnificent Jews space is starting. Are we not supposed to do that? Is that wrong? Or because of what has happened in the last 50, uh, 48 hours? We should all sit down and be waiting for a look. Saddam, I'd like you to speak to this because it's important. Some persons are saying, no, let's not do anything. Let's just sit down. I say, no. We must mobilize across the world and across Nigeria and descend on a door and take it back for Labour Party and, and disobedience that just left the space. What do you think, yeah. Saddam? And, uh, uh, I'm sorry I'm dividing this, but it's important we address this here. Sorry, Emma Saddam. Sorry I have to come uh in. This sorry. guy is, um, is big. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, sorry, sorry. Um, so, 
I mean, I don't know. I think Saddam is currently busy. Quite correct. Um, you wanted on on it, but I mean, if I were to give my take, um, so in the Obidjan movement, one thing I've learned is that everybody's so, um If you are one of those that feel we should start, of course, sitting down is not an option. Um, I don't think anybody that says sitting down, I don't think it meant sitting down. You know, there are people that think, um, oh, let the candidate release his campaign stuff and, you know, we go there. It's good. If you are someone that also wants to swing into immediate action, don't, no game for anybody last, last. So, but I mean, I think this is a conversation that is not one line, one statement, just fix it all. So, but so we can get more people. Uh, I'll quickly go to, if you're on the speaker section and you intend to speak, ensure your hand is up. Let me quickly go to, okay, let me take health as well, um, since she, she was already up. Uh, then I'll go to Dr. Barry. Yeah, thank you, Ms. Adam. Stephen is being dis disingenuous. So all that, that, that's what he's saying, and some people are saying, some people are saying, and he was going around and around in circles. He told people to come into his DM so that they can start contributing money and doing stuff. And okay. I said, no. People Head is well. Yeah, out is well, please. That's Be what that's what is in your that is what I responded to. Sorry, like I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. And, and both of you, in case we are still speaking, you are muted, sure. So but I really want us to that's I just want us to get what we feel like from Ulumidia Pata just just blew like our mind. Okay, blew it blew my mind. I'm really impressed because uh, Saddam, a lot of people that I hear, if you go to my tier, no. Like, I've not, so if you, I'm not saying it out of uh, just being an obedient. So let's see what do we think. Well that meaning. Mm. That that guy did not come for interrogate. That guy came to gist. The guy was just gisting. To mm. him, he just did gist with everybody. It was so smooth and he was paying close attention. Saddam asked him one question. Saddam said, Someone is asking me that uh, Olamide. And he, he, he paused for a while and said, is that question directed to me? Because I know the Olami deal. He was paying close attention to details. It was, I, I've never heard him speak this long, but he was yeah. just having fun. He, he was, the dude was just having fun. It was just, it was casual to him. He was just having fun. And um, it was a good thing he came here and everybody knows what is going on now. And I love the, uh, response he gave about the zoning. Very, very smart diplomatic guy. Listen to what he said when someone asked him about um, uh, his deputy. Very diplomatic. He, <laughs> he didn't. He didn't answer. I'm just. I'm certain he knows who he is, but he doesn't want to be a situation right now on top of this place. They go hear him. He knows what this man has it upstairs, man. So, um, guys, let's just um, yeah. for many minutes to talk about um, the reaction yeah, I mean, of this that, guy's that... present here. For me, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. for me, like every, a lot of the things he said, I, me, I did right. I did right. go bless. He did, he did talk. I did judge. Like, saying, I oh, yeah. I was quoting him. I was quoting I won't him. I will go for the space with the But, you know, it, it was quite um, it was quite uh, impressive. So, Elton, well, what do you think about, you know, the outing? Well, I was impressed with only this outing and I didn't expect anything less. I heard him speak several times and I, I believe in his candidacy. I believe in him and I will support him 100%. Okay. But my thing about money is let us yeah. do it the right no, way. Okay. All right. I believe in him. His outing was good. He yeah. said the right thing. He hit the right spot. Because when, when what's his name? Aswis Bodali was asked about cults. He was talking about prosecuting people. There are no punishments. I'm thinking you can't criminalize everybody. You are only treating the, the symptoms. You are not going to the root cause of the problem. So I, that's one I picked up on it because I, I mean I went to both spaces and I heard both men I heard what they said. So if I have to pick whose approach I prefer, I prefer Lumi's approach. Bam! All right, thank you very much, Elvis. That's like a very I mean you don't you don't do one compar comparative analysis. That's good. Pels, Doctor Bar, I'm coming. I, I, I think I skip Pels. Pels, are you here? Okay. Oh, well meaning i'm actually here but if you can just okay, pass okay. the mic around because i'm driving somewhere and i'm actually on another platform right, right. so i'll be right back right, okay? okay thank you cool. at least you know the two person injection today all right uh dr barry please go ahead you almost you almost wanted now why make you we are clear yourself 
Well, uh, I don't get chance. Thank you so much to take, um, contribute, ask our governor question. For me, uh, I, I think, you see, you guys have not seen anything yet. If you know who Osai Bovo is, that guy is a bad guy. Bad guy. He's a smart lawyer. He has when you say bad guy, no, listen now. Mm -hmm. When I say bad guy, he's the right man for the job. Listen, you see this guy. I was part and parcel of those who tried to drill him out of the contest. But we confirmed that he was the best person. And at die minute, we had to make people step down. We had to fight everyone to make sure he comes out when we listen to his calculation of how he was going to be governor of Edo State. Right. You see, Edo State, yeah, Edo State is one state that we have to really kill the obedient spirit on. So please, whether anybody likes it or not, for me, the only thing I didn't like about what he said, he kept saying, if, if, if I become governor. Oh boy, I know say they hear me. Osai Bovo, my man, my guy. It's not if, it is when you become governor. Right. So please start saying when. Okay. And so shall it be. All right, thank you. Obedience, I'm ready. I am ready. We are going to die there. Simple. Thank All you. Right. Thank you very much, Dr. Barry. We live here. Um, quickly, I'll take a uh, uh, switch out, then I'll come to Adamu. If you're on the speaker section, you intend to speak, I'll ensure your hand is up uh, so we can take you. Say that if you like, do thumbs down, did ya? Switch out, go ahead. Hi. Okay, um, this place has been a very great one. In fact, I I was impressed. I am impressed, and I'm sure I'll continue to be impressed. I've not heard him speak before. Um, it's not like I supported them um, only media pata before the primaries. I'm very loyal to Peter Obi. And as I'm loyal to Peter Obi, I'll just waiting for whoever. Labour Party is going to push out for my state, Edo State. And when they did, I said, yes, work has started. And that's when we started the whole war and the whole pushback and the whole back and forth. And today we had over almost 4,000, if not more than 4,000 were on this space today, listening to our governor. Normally when somebody is saying one thing, the thing dry, they Within 30 minutes, you would also say people don't drop. But we had people stay with us till we still had over 2,500 stay with us till he left. That means he was speaking sense. Is this this man that you people want us to exchange for 500, 150,000 shekels? Is this this man you want us to exchange for how much dollars again? Is it $4,000? We Edo people know what is good for us. And we have seen that Olumide Akpata yep. is the one that will make Edo State better for us. Bye. Edo State want better good governors now. We know that, we know the, uh, uh, what do you call it, not the abomination for our own side. And I believe that when we move from one state to another, Labour Party, because all of them are having the same, the same idea, following um, Abia State, then you have Edo State. Then you have yeah. on state, all of them on the same path. Oh God, oh, if I say yeah, speak again. Yeah. Before you go, before you go to your election, they come to me. <laughs> okay, okay, make I make I, I, I please yeah. uh, if you are yet to change your mind, please change your mind. Yeah. Yeah, God bless you now. All right, Bye. Thank you very much. Adam. After Adam, I'll come to Harry Watch. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sorry, I had network issues, so I couldn't really ask um, Mr. Alumidia about my question. But in overall, it was amazing. It was nice. You know, we've been, he's been able to, you know, say what they want to do for Edo people. And I want to use this opportunity to tell our people that everybody is suffering from bad governance. If you look at the Edo State 2024 budget as approved by the State House of Assembly, or Baseki is going to be spending a whopping sum of 18.9 billion naira as his expenditure that is on that he can just spend 18.9. 18 
then he's going to spend about 245 million naira on running personnel costs in his office. In total, the state governor is going to spend a whopping sum of 23 billion to run his office. The deputy governor is going to spend about 300 million to run his office. The SSG is going to spend about 13.5 billion to run his office. The State House of Assembly would use 26 and, and billion like to run the State House of Assembly. So in total, no, I'm, 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 I just want to round up, please. In total, you see that we are using over 60 billion just to run two arms of government, like just a fraction of two arms of government. And today, Obaseke will tell you there are bad roads, the state is broke, there's no money, there's no money to fix the hospitals and all of that. But it's using more than 60 billion to service government and uh, functionaries in the state. See, but when the campaign will come fully, let them book appointment in channels, whatever arise, so ITV, EBS. So I challenge all the children of roasted corn, all the children of bought Mikanu. Let them book an appointment and we will challenge them to the development in the CC in those states. And why Olumide Akpata is the best candidate for yeah. September. Thank you very much. C'est bon, correct. All right, quickly, I'll go straight to Arewachi. Uh, after Arewachi, I'll, I'll come to you. Oh, you go just talk that King. Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm so excited. Like, I don't know, aside, good evening, all protocols, Delios. Uh, aside the fact that I enjoy violence space, I think this is one of my best space, aside the one of Peter will be. Like the man just made selling him very, very easy. You know, there is something about all he said. It's not about all he has said, but the way he said it, the genuineness, the confidence in the way he was able to, you know, pass this message. It, you can't but feel it. You know, when person they talk, you they feel goosebumps. You know, when person they talk, you know, that they rise. That was how I was feeling. Like, I had to ask Saddam, I said, Saddam, you should say you don't put sugar for this space today because it's too sweet. The man made selling him very, very, very easy. My people, it's time for us to roll up our sleeves and get to work. We are officially all a do lights. That's the truth. There's nobody should come and tell me I am not from a do and I should keep my mouth where my money is, or I should not put my mouth in a do politics. I am an a do light. We'll carry this okay, matter like Carla. Thank you very much. Now that you said it, I'll give you a pinny name. Your pinny name is Osato Ame. Thank you. I All don't right. get name. Oh. I don't get name oh, before. It's in my oh. home. It's my ah. name. They're not going to give you this people. Make you know, say, I don't have to pronounce and where. <laughs> All right. Say that maybe you take that Osato Ame since the day. No, please. I have a, I have name already. I watch it knows my beginning name now. I watch it name. Name. Don't have to do any ceremony. Yes, yeah, so Robo Robo. Or Robo Star. Robo or Robo Star. Star. Robo 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 for short. It's Sarah <laughs> Ohm. So, well, Mini, you are too late giving these names. You are too late, Robo Mini. All right. Hi, everyone. Yeah, good evening once again. So, I just wanted to reiterate here um, some of the things that. Um, his Excellency stated while he was speaking. You see, there is a difference between facts and there's a different there's a difference between facts and lies, right? And there's nothing like your truth and my truth. There is no two ways to truth. That is there is only truth. Truth is only truth. It's only the truth, not your truth or my truth. It is truth, it is one. So if we want to start talking about most of these candidates, I think we need to keep our facts right. A whole lot of people have gone out there, you know, this PDP or APC people, um, Olumide gave $1,000. That is why your candidates in LP did this or did that. He gave people money. That's like, and annoyingly, all these false statements are coming for people that we thought were our own. But moving on. Olumide, as the ex um, His Excellency has actually come out to state categorically. Like, do you guys know what $1,000 is? Okay, at the election, right, 316 people voted for um, 
Olumide Akpata. Now you're saying he gave each and every one of you $1,000 to vote. That is 1,000 times 316, that's $316,000. And as of when we had our primaries, the, the Naira was give or take, I think about 8,800 or 8,900. I think it was even 2,000. Okay, let's say 1,800. Let's say 1,800 to one dollar so you're saying um let's see, you're saying that he gave 569 about 569 million naira to get the delegates and i mean most of these people have come out to so even you see what i tell people is governance is not difficult just show people that you're for them that is all show people you're for, for them rather than you running around trying to see who you want to give money to, trying to see how you can steal the movement, trying to see if you can pay money to one person or the other. Just be there for the people. When yep. people see you as part of them, when people see you as one of them, people would actually take you as their own. They'll take you as, oh, this person is my brother, this person is my sister. You're running an election. They're having ward meetings. You're not attending your ward meetings. You're busy running, running around looking for one person or the other to give money to attend your word meetings sit down there to speak to your elderly people know their needs yep. a assist them for their local government elections just these are the minor minor things you do and they will take you as their own so when you come out and you start spreading rumors that oh this person gave a thousand it, you know what it, it gave to each to each delegate each delegate you're not even saying, oh, he called 10 people and gave them $1,000, or he called 20 people and gave them money, or he called um, a group of people and gave them money, like some certain people are doing. Uh, You're saying he gave 316 people. Come on. Say that, say that. Don't no worry, I, I did not believe it, because it's not true for your body. So, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's quickly go. Let's quickly so, go. yeah, so yeah. I think I think we have all, we, we need to all realize that we are uh, on a uh, path yes we're on a path to actually get edo states and we should get edo states we are going to get edo states because edo states as we have called it is the headquarters of the obedience movement and it is okay. only right and just for the obedience movement to actually win that governorship seat so if we actually want to take it it depends on you and i it is not my fight it is not your fight it is everybody's fight because it is not one person's fight so we should all okay. be ready to put everything together to get it. Thank All you right. very much, Sarah. Back to you, Domini. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much, Sarah. That was, that was actually out. Okay, quickly, I'll take uh, Savik, after which I'll take Comrade Solo Rumo. Thank you so much, Wemini, and every single person. Um, uh, if His Excellency is still listening, thank you so much for gracing, gracing us with your presence this evening. Uh, Wemini, I think Olumide is a very smart person. You know, that's that's actually how he came across. He's very smart, he's very articulate, he's very empathetic, and he he has this leadership quality where you know you glue to you know to every single word that he's saying. You know, he's not using you know very advanced word to communicate, he's communicating with the language that every single one can understand, and that's one of the things you look at in, in good leaders. You know, and that's one of the qualities that Peter B has. He, he's speaking, and you glue to him, and you will listen to every single thing that he's saying. So that quality of Olimide has it, and uh, he, he seems to me as someone that is very grassroots. You know, he understands the language that he can speak to the people, and the people will understand. You know, so listening to him, and I think Swiss Child made that comment. You know, someone has been on the space for three good hours, and you still had the same number of people. That we are listening to him from the beginning ended the same, you know, listening to him. So that's what you need when, when someone is communicating yes. and people are actually listening to what he's communicating. That's exactly what you look out for. So it was a very great show for him, smart, articulate, you know. Uh, he laid down the plan on what he wants to do. I think Labour Party actually made a very smart choice by bringing him, right? And then how he dissected this zoning of a team, you know, his smartness, you know, he led it to bed. Yeah. You know, all I can say is that every single one of us, that whether we are called obedient, you know, from somewhere else, I know where many, I'm just rounding up, you know, from in every, every part of Nigeria, we are all a dolite now. Teaching, however you can contribute, we cannot afford to miss a do state. 
Edo is the sanctuary of the Obedian movement, and Olimuda Akwata has to be the next governor of Edo State. He had a very great showing, let him keep it up, let him continue engaging. I think he's on his way to the or uh, Sadebe Avenue. Thank you so All much. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Steve. I actually agree. For the, I actually had to reach out to Saddam, like, early into the space to say, Saddam, tell him everything he's saying is being recorded and that he should count his words very carefully because I didn't want him to make the mistake of just, you know, sounding nice. And, you know, when after that, towards the end of the space, you notice he reminded again that, here you are recording it. You know they are recording it. It's still in your mind. So all this talk, you know it was being recorded. And that's very, very crucial. But Abby, I say, people, get ready. Get ready. The door is coming for you. All right, quickly, let's go straight to Otumba. Oh, sorry, come to Solomon. Uh, Mr. C, don't worry, I see you. I'll come to you from the round of time. I agree, they also protocols observed. You know, say before now, they could say if we they talk with Lumi, they matter. They could say, we're on on salary. we not on salary. They the pay on monthly. They the pay on 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 payroll. At least, this house now, we don't feel up, like, say, the man, and so he just did it. So when he talked to us, first time, second time, third time, and I think they talk and that's when they do it. So now he make way for Edo State. We can't give her the promise keeper. Now he be in botanical name for Edo State. If you just check Google now, the promise keeper, maybe we just display all of this. So that one on one side. On the other side, we say, like, today now we do meeting. Part of him promise before before if we did do meeting for like all those what they rent chairs you know so then I go carry chairs for secretariat all the chairs is not do meeting everybody see her. everybody enjoy we happy if they don't mind say you know be as they did before say one thing or the other say you know give them the hope I get one thing when we say our guys stay the project yesterday say this one now not be matter of say everybody will just say rev the matter no a good may we come together make we plan this thing where we will do highly 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 coordinated in contact mm -hmm. with yesterday as obedient adopt a word or obedient adopt a local government so that when particular set of obedience say okay this world we focus on this world because politics is local when we say this set particular set of persons adopt this world we know see this particular person, set of persons, strictly this word, they work with this word, they yeah. engage it directly. So, in fact, this particular election, we got taken very, very serious and it has to be highly coordinated. Yeah. I know say only D, only D on the own side, in get all your senators, so, and uh, that one are sure. And in the work with directly, people will be say they on ground, and people will know say get something to offer, you know, they listen to political talk. All right. Whether not from national or from state, you know, they listen in as much as you have the capacity to deliver and you know that know that you are the right person for that job, he will give you the job, irrespective of sentiment. That's all one right. thing of all the day. So it's a promise keeper. Thank you. All right, thank you very much, Comrade Solomon. It's a promise keeper. I think I like that name. You guys should make that name, Steve. For me, I really think the biggest thing 